I just like to break up my VODs so that they're nice and easy to watch. What the hell is going on with my tricep there? Looks like I got bingo wings, doesn't it? Hello there, mortals. I'm Jensen. Welcome back to Undertale. We have basically creamed everything that we've gone through first try. Have we not, everybody? We've, we've, been, we've been doing everything first try. All right. Oh, this isn't moving. Welcome. Oh, don't roll out the welcome wagon. So, we should meet Sans here, right? Sans? Can we get a glass of water? It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Absolutely. You take a cup of water. Ah, nice refreshing drink to cool us down. The water evaporated from the heat. Ah, well, easy come, easy goes. The cup evaporated too. Ah, well. Okay, we can't go through there. 40 left. 40? Seriously? 40? Night 16 subs? Jesus, they keep rolling in. I went for a walk yesterday with my girlfriend and I came back and I had four more subs than I previously did. I feel like if, if there are any creators here, I feel like it's really hard to get to kind of like the 780 mark. Yeah, and at that point, you just have a level of quality control, which attracts so many people that they just start coming in droves. So if there's any creators out there wanting to grow their channel, just increase your quality control every time you put out a video. It'll take almost a year to start getting a nice snowballing effect like I've got right now, but they do come. They do come. Oh, there you are! You ugly little creature! You've made quite a name for yourself! Such infamy! I'm impressed! Oh, yes! If you're looking for Elphis, she's not here! While you were busy doing your... <clears throat> thing, she was running around evacuating people to safety! Now they're in a place where you'll never get to them! Deciding not to fight you! My, my, she really is the only smart one, isn't she? It's not very nice. Oh! How sassy! I'm on the wrong side. You're just itching to get your hands on me, aren't you? Well, too bad! This world needs stars more than it needs corpses! Doodles! Okay, bye, Metaton. It was nice murdering your friends and family. What are you doing at the thousand uh, sub mark? I got a real good video lined up for it. Like, like it's a really good video, but it might creep some people out. It's, it's going to be kind of like a horror. A horror. Because my channel trailer is kind of like a horror, but at the same time, I knew very little about editing and the editing suite that I had. So this next one that I'm going to have is going to be uh, well animated, and it's, gonna, it's just going to have a creep factor that you can't really replicate. Okay, we can't go in there. Can we go up here? Is there anything up here? Maybe. What the hell is this? Pink goop drips from the strange machine. That is disgusting. Holland Gore counters the same area. Ah, right. Spray paints is the goat for staying here. Yeah, good attrition. Good attrition, my dude. Metaton go run run. I'm a goober. Skibbity toilet. Elphys's room. So is this Mew Mew 1 or 2? Looks like Elphys's work table. Seems dusty. Okay, he hasn't done anything. The wardrobe is full of dirty leg coats and a single clean dress. Hmm. I think that's the dating dress, right? I think so. Have you ever used Clipchamp for editing? No, I used DaVinci Resolve, uh, and I will never use anything else, because before then I was using Sony Vegas 15, then I moved on to 16, uh, and I had a come-to-Jesus moment where I realized Sony Vegas uh, absolutely just annihilates your CPU. So I moved on to um, DaVinci Resolve, which Harris Heller, uh, another YouTuber, recommended. And since then, I am never going back. That has literally everything that I could possibly need to uh, do just like basic YouTube editing to make a full blockbuster movie. Everything is in there. It's fantastic. Get the noodles from the fridge. Oh, okay, I'll go back and I'll, I'll go get those. Boom, boom. Excellent. Wallop, straight to the face. Oh, we're so good at the crits now after fighting uh, What's My Dingle. We'll go back and we'll steal our noodles. That's a really good idea. It's Mew Mew one. Ugh, yuck. Yuck! No, wait, Mew Mew one is the better one, isn't it? And Elphys is just an absolute idiot! But thinking Mew Mew 2 is better. Yuck! How can you like Mew Mew 2 better? The wardrobe is full of dirty lab cups. I thought that was a fridge for a second there. Okay, gonna keep on going around, I suppose. So where is it? It's probably right here, right? Right here? The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Absolutely! You got the instant noodles. Thank you! Do we have any more? No. Oh, man. If we're gonna murder everybody, why can't we loot the fridges? It makes no sense. I've beaten this without the noodles, but you will still want those. Go back. I did. Alphys likes the first Mew Mew in this game and Mew Mew turned Deltarune. 
What's a dingle is a new name for Undyne. What's a dingle is the name for everything I can't remember the name of in the moment. So in the moment, they're what's a dingle. But after the moment, uh, they go back to the, having their kind of like their birth names. Boom boom. Okay, good. Cumin. Yes, it is I. I. Oh, that is a different attack cycle. Is he bombing us because we are because we've got the reputation? Damn, that hurt actually. That really hurt. Okay, good. What did he say? That was a grim kill. Wow, we were zipping and dodging all over the place there. Heals 90 at a specific fight. Nice. Instant noodles heals like 8 HP. It's a complete waste of time. Okay, it heals 90. Trust it. I've used it fighting sands. They heal 90 in genocide. We can probably just actually look at it, right? Or maybe it is fight specific. Info. Instant noodles heals HP. Comes with everything you need for a quick meal. That's uninformative. Thank you so much. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and save. 38 left. Good. Yes, that's what I like to hear. 38 kills left. I'm going to make a rush for the uh, pan because I know it's an upgrade, a uh, weapon upgrade. Oh, right. We're not supposed to move through the orange, right? Ah, oh, damn it. What are we supposed to move through the orange? I can't remember. Boom, boom. I'm going to try moving through the orange. I always forget. I always forget. You'd think, hey, Jensen, you've probably done enough of combat in this game to know whether or not you can use a certain skill here, but uh, I don't. I'm terrible at bullet hells. That's the thing about bullet hells that I never got, is that it, it's super duper hard to kind of like remember all of the numbers and stats you, you got to memorize for all the bullet hells. Okay, and uh, now. Nice, got the pan. There's a fry pan laying on the ground. Of course we're gonna take it, yes. It's free. You got the burnt pan, thank you. Now we probably want to use this instead of the iframes. What's my dingle? We probably want to use the iframes what's my dingle when we are fighting sands, right? Because I know that's going to be a fight and I know that's going to be a really hard fight. Oranges move, blue is don't move. Okay, gotcha. Stay still through blue. What those people said. Okay, awesome. The pan is what I use for the rest of the genocide after I get it. That's good to know. And the really long haul, it heals 90. Okay, I'll definitely remember that. Hey, the lasers are off. If they were kind of like covered in vines, that would be a really, really cool detail. But it seems as though that's not the case at all. Ah, the lasers were reactivated. Okay, let's turn that back off. I kind of vibe the... I vibe the soundtrack down here slowed down a little bit more. Anyone else? Okay, let's go this away and we'll do this puzzle first. Or has it already been beaten for us? It's already been beaten for us. Good. Yes. We can just go north. Slowed core is so fire. It is, isn't it? Uh, whoops. Got on there at the wrong time. Want to get on there now. Let's go up. Yeah, good. Slowed core is so far. I'm in another medium. Oh. Hey, it's the Gay Knights. You're here. So that means Undyne. She's like, Undyne will avenge you. Okay, so they're not going to get busy with each other. Oh my god, the pan. Oh, wow. A one. You. Yes, I. I was the one who dismantled number one. Okay, O2 is clenching and unclenching his fists. Not for long, he's not boom, 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 boom. This place becomes your tomb. Oh, that feels so good. Wow. Question, would you be interested in streaming Delta Traveler? It's a fan game. It's like an Undertale Deltarune hybrid. Yes, that's actually been recommended to me. I'm probably going to play it after I uh, polish off everything in Undertale. This track slows down. It's really cool. Yes, gay knights. Yeah, they're gay. Pretty sure it slows down when you're taking damage. No, it slows down when you are sequentially like killing all of the enemies in a zone. We got 120 buckery boost for that. Nice. Or like fan games in general. I actually, I have a Discord. Oh, this is weird. Usually we have to do a, an entire thing here. I've got a Discord. There's a channel in it called Game Requests. If you go into the Discord, you drop a game request, I will play it eventually. The reason I started streaming is so that I can play like six hours straight and get through all of the requests that people have been giving me. Ah. So here's right. I think this is where Gaster is. There's a tiny little pixel bobbing around here. I think this right here is Gaster. I think this is Gaster's corpse bobbing around in the lava. Do we want to like just start grinding out here? Instant is a Discord mod? No, I've got a Discord. <laughs> I've got a Discord. It's my Discord. It's called the Pit. <laughs> the iframe stuff? Uh. 
What? I don't know spaghetti? I'm pretty sure it slows you down taking damage. Oh, the iframe stuff. Yeah, that does slow it, but we want to basically kill everybody faster. And the higher DPS definitely does that. I want to get out of the zone, right? Oh, no, actually, the hot end of the core sheer the enemy, so I'm, I'm not going to worry about that too much. That's the famed stray pixel I could never find. It's Gaster. I'm certain it's Gaster. I think Kara pushed him into the uh, core because either he was studying her and found that she had a blackened soul or because Kara knew that um, Gaster was going to lead to the deaths of lots and lots of people. I'm undecided yet. That's what this playthrough is for. That being Gaster seems far-fetched. It's, it's less far-fetched than uh, everything else that people are attributing to Gaster because we know that Gaster had an accident uh, while he was studying the core. Okay, this is not where we were supposed to be. Please select a location. Okay, uh, right floor one then, maybe. I'm offended. That sucks. I think it's just a dead pixel. No, it's animated in there for a very, very specific reason. Uh, we, it's just not confirmed as to what it is. And like, a dead pixel does not move. A dead pixel doesn't move. This right here was intentionally put in there. It mirrors this one over here, which is just uh, supposed to like add texture to the, um, to the surroundings. But this one is a different color than all of the other things in here. So I think it's a person. I think it's his body. Isn't Gasser a monster? No, Gasser was the uh, royal scientist of uh, Undertale before the events of this game. Right, level three. They don't have corpses. Well, you don't know that Gaster was a monster. He could have been a human. It just have a very wavy effect for how it seems animated. Yeah, well, most like it's bobbing in a liquid, right? It's a moving PNG. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Looks like some sort of powerful bracelet. Wait, it's just a croissant. So we should probably save here first, right? Before we go in. Is there a save before we go in here? No, okay. Uh, not, not too worried about it. Let's go up first. We'll go check out the up dog before we progress on too far. Or maybe we could just go forward. Right? This whole place? Ah, very good. Okay, 35 left. I don't know, Spaghetti is just built different. I think if lava was there, a corpse it would be kind of, you know. Ah, did you hear what she said? Okay, let's talk about the weird kind of like, the, it, it could be a body. It could be a body. Let's talk about the lore of this place. While I grind out the frisk dance. Gaster was the royal scientist reporting specifically to Toriel and Asgore when he was royal scientist of this place. He had an accident involving the core, which we just saw in the distance. There's a little icon that's, that's bobbing around under the core. He had an accident involving the core and then he died, never to be seen again. It's not canon anywhere that he was ever heard from again, right? Gaster is actually a skibbity toilet plushie. Cite your source. <laughs> Cite your source. If you saw someone else say that's Gaster, would you believe them? I think it's just a dead pixel. How can it be a dead pixel if it's if it's purposefully animated in there? Because the animation is applied. Yeah, the animation is applied to the whole image. It's significant. The Gaster Sprite is titled Mystery Man. Exactly, exactly. So the wiki speculates that that is Gaster and the wiki is full of misinformation cited by YouTubers and a bunch of other crap that's never really uh, kind of explained and expanded upon. So I can say Gaster is a skibbity toilet. <laughs> well, if he's made of porcelain, he's probably bopping around in the, uh, in the lava then, right? But yeah, when Gaster was alive, so was Kara. Kara went missing. We don't know what happened to Kara. She apparently fell ill. Apparently she died. We don't know where her soul went. Uh, people speculate that it went into Asriel, but Asriel also died, so her soul would have been released from that body. Because a dead monster's body cannot hold a human soul. It just can't happen. Hey, Sans Undertale. Stop with the brain rot. Yeah, that's not very skibbity of you. It's a wave effect on a PNG. It can have a dead pixel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet it does. Unless it's specifically animated there by the developer. It's not speculation that Asriel absorbed Kara's soul. Yeah, no, I'm not saying that that is speculation. I'm saying what is speculation is what happened to Gaster and uh, uh, Kara after Kara dies, right? I, so we don't know if Kara killed Gaster. We don't know. We definitely know he had an accident. And if he was just a clumsy oaf, that's absolutely fine. But people wouldn't be talking about him as if he's the next coming of Christ if he was just a clumsy oaf and fell in. 
So that's the thing. Here come a fight between two Sans. What would you do if Sans did a genocide? Ah, he's too lazy. He wouldn't bother. I also, I'm pretty sure we can't actually encounter any monsters right here. Oh, well. At least I got it out of my system. Like, it, the thing is, Gesta is not even really canon in the game to the events that we see. They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I don't know if she's reciting poetry. I heard that they hate spiders. Uh, no, we didn't touch them. I heard that they hate everybody. That's different. That's different. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. That's not different. That definitely happens. If Frisk did a genocide? I don't know if that would be harder or easier than just a base Frisk run. In the pacifist route, neutral route, when Flowey absorbs human souls, they disappear afterwards. Well, do they disappear or do they, like, go elsewhere? Because that's the main question. What happens to the souls? That's not a question anyone has answered in the life of this game. It's been out for a decade. No one's asked what happens to the souls after they leave the conduit. Because obviously to get them into a conduit, they need to be floating around. And it's not like they'll just dissipate over time if they're floating around in the first place. Can't wait to see Chara. Yeah, me neither. As in the never seen again. We don't know that. What if Gaster is never important? That's what I'm saying. What if Gaster was never important? What if Gaster was once important to kind of like the overall structure of the game? What if the core is causing the barrier? What if that was Gaster's input? Right? MatPad and other YouTubers, I'm not even going to read, uh, read the rest of that <laughs> comment. You're not going to get my, my attention by quoting a YouTuber. That they have some awful taste. What a shame. A human comes through and they aren't even fit to be eaten. Oh, no, that's, that's slamming on MatPat. MatPat and other YouTubers yapped about Gaster for years. I know, people are still yapping to me about Gaster, saying, oh, it's the hole in, in the story narrative that you've crafted around this game. And it's not really. Gaster, we don't see Gaster. And all the fun value stuff, all of that, I'm absolutely certain is just cut content uh, for the fans of this game who really want to keep on playing over and over and over again. Just to kind of shake things up a little bit. Did not even take a second to realize he wasn't that big of a deal. He, he was a bit of a big deal. That's the thing. He was a bit of a big deal, and then he wasn't. And then Alphys took over, and then we see the game from the perspective of uh, Frisk, who we're playing as. They always use mysteryman.png as gasser in the thumbnails. I know, that's what's reinforced everybody. I've literally had people say to me, oh, it's common knowledge, you idiot. You should just know that the mystery man is gasser. And then I googled it, and on the spot, they look like absolute idiots as well. Kill Muffet? Yeah, we're going to kill Muffet. Okay, she did a little bit of a giggle, but that's absolutely fine. Muffet traps you. Okay, we'll squish her, won't we? The barrier was made by the humans, seven most powerful wizards or whatever. No, that is propaganda. I'm pretty sure that's propaganda by Asbor. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Whoa! It's common knowledge that it's not confirmed. If only people could have told the people who arrived at my streams in the first place. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's sad. This is, I feel worse about this one. Oh, oh, I feel terrible about that. Oh. Oh, I feel so bad about that one. That was bad. My love increased. Uh, my heartbreak increased. Uh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. no! Oh, that feels so awful. That's like a that's like a a from soft feel bad moment. Okay, there's usually like a, a nice singing number here, right? But there isn't today. Okay, that was weird. <clears throat> my controller just kind of like flicked me side to side. All right, what's in here? This is the elevator. Perfect. Nice. How dare you treat Muffet and Mommy like a video game character? Creepy Spider is gone. Right, so this place is... Oh, wait, are they still actually going to be in the shop? Can we rob them? Can we mug them? Nobody came and stuff. Oh, steal. Sold five gold from the till. Really? That's it? I suppose it is a dark alleyway. Read. Hey, this is Braddy. If you're reading this, then like, bad news, you mega evil weirdo. Alphys just came here and she's taking us someplace super duper safe. But first, we gotta use up these gel pens. Yeah, chill Alphys, we don't wanna waste pens. And don't even think about stealing our stuff. Yeah, creep, leave our junk alone. 
Getty, it's not junk. It's really valuable. Yeah, our garbage is really valuable. Anyway, in closing, you're a total loser. Yeah, loser. Nyahaha. Signed, Cat. Okay, I'm also going to take the mystery key. Yoink. And also the cowboy hat. Oh, that's good armor. Or not. Oh, we do we want this empty gun? 12 attack. I think we probably want the pan, don't we? Because the pan, it claps real hard. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of some of these crab apples because they actually suck. They suck absolute ass. Let's eat a couple, actually. <sighs> yeah. I have six body pillars of her. Oh my god. Big gun. There is a gun, though. Use the gun for grinding. I recommend keeping the pan. I will keep the pan, I think. Mad? Uh, don't spam, my dude, King of Spiders, but uh, please don't spam the chat. Metatun has joined the chat. Has he? Theory Man the Goat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look, look, everybody. Someone's here to tell us that Gaster is Mystery Man. Ha! Ha! Everybody laugh. Ha! Mystery Man is sans. Ha! All right, let's take the cowboy hat anyway, because I want it. And I'm also going to take the junk that's worse than a crab apple. Not even going to bother. Ha! Yeah, everyone laugh at him. Laugh at him. He's got a game theory icon. Oh, what are you going yeah, to tell us that Sans is God? Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, uh, that's all in jest, by the way. We were just theory crafting and literally talking about how uh, the game theory channel kind of it matched the mystery man icon to Gaster and then made this gigantic convoluted head cannon that nobody can uh, kind of get out of their heads anymore. It's pre uh, pretty funny. Pretty funny, honestly. Okay, so I'm going to eat the crab apple. Good. So we should be good. Uh, this place should be empty, right? Oh. Can you guys hear that? Oh, that is sinister. I love it. Okay. So there's nothing here, is there? Also, if anybody thinks I'm taking drugs on stream, it is a papaya pill. It's really good for hydrating the mouth. It forces your saliva glands to, to procreate. There's an orgy in my mouth right now. A, a mukbang of, of bodily fluids. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized what I said. <laughs> Hello? Hello, DoorDash? Hello? Okay, no one's there. Hello, DoorDash? Hello? Hello, hello? The mystery key is to MTT's house. Really? No answer. MTT's house? Where is that? One of the guest followers says some... Say some say he was shattered through time and space, and I'm holding a piece of him right here. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a crock of garbage. Every, uh, like, here's the thing, right? I think that Asgore, Gaster, they were working together. They were working together. Gaster was creating a bunch of nightmarish monstrosities to fuse enough monsters to get uh, a monster powerful enough to have a human soul. That I believe. Asgore signed off on it. Toriel found out about that. I don't know how she found out about it, but when she found out about that, they split up. Toriel then became the first line of defense in the ruins, and if any human got past Toriel, they would be considered lethal and dangerous, which is a pretty safe assumption to make, especially in this playthrough here. Where's the nearest place we can get ambushed by creatures? It's not in here, is it? You only get into Sans' room if he gives you the key? Yeah, no, uh, we got into Sans' room in the Riz playthrough that we did, where we, we rizzed everybody. MTT's house is in the waterfall next to Napsterblick. Oh, I don't think I've been there. Ah, maybe we want to go back. Do we, is it worth going back for? My mother? <laughs> How do you say secret code words? Uh, usually in wingdings. And you can find the key to the room behind his house in there. Yes. Do you type somewhere? I thought they broke up because Asgore was killing kids. Oh, well, like, we, we don't know that for certain. They could have just died. Or someone else could have killed them. It's probably more likely that the royal scientists, whoever they were at the time, probably would have ended up killing the children for Asgore and then put them into the container. Otherwise, Asgore would have just absorbed them straight up. What does Riz mean? Uh, charisma. It is literally a shorthand of the word charisma. Which is really funny because a, a, a bunch of like big buff doofheads are now quoting Dungeons and Dragons nomenclature. 
That is FNAF Dog Shark. Is it? Oh, yeah, no, there are kids. That, there are kids who die in this. Well, we don't actually know they're kids. We know they're human. We don't know that they're, they're kids per se. Weird. I don't know where the nearest place we can get ambushed is. We want to start grinding out these fights, don't we? Riz is basically just a person who has charisma. No, it's literally short for charisma. A bunch of, um, a bunch of sports dudes and uh, mouth breathers started using it not knowing that it was uh, a, a term directly ripped from Dungeons and Dragons. Stop spamming. Oh, lighten up. Lighten up, Scott. Because Asgore was angry and stuff and wasn't thinking. Now, here's the thing. I don't think that humans made the barrier. I don't think I iterated this. I don't think that humans made the barrier because the barrier is made of magic. Humans don't have access to magic. Monsters have access to magic. Monsters do not have access to constantly casting magic at all times. So it would make sense to have a gigantic power source to be able to power a gigantic magical barrier. So I think the core is supposed to sustain the barrier to defend the monsters against the humans who had already won the, um, the fight. It doesn't help the chat is getting flooded with brain rot. None watching. Go left until you see a bridge after that. Probably the royal guard killed the key, but Asgore was the one that proposed the idea. Yeah, it was, it was definitely, um, royal guard killed them. That would be Undyne. Do you, I don't really think Undyne would have killed anybody. Especially not in cold blood. Slow down music is playing right now? Yeah, no kidding. Why don't they just disable the barrier if they made it? Because they need it there! They lost the war! The humans want them dead! That's why the barrier is there! Is the humans don't come and finish them off! Yinsen, are you skibbity? I'm pretty skibbity. I'm pretty skibbity. I'm also pretty sure that being skibbity is a really good thing, but I, I don't know this for, for absolute certain. I'm a millennial. <laughs> but they want freedom. Yeah, okay. It's quite possible. It's quite possible that the whole, uh, there were magical humans and they put up the barrier even though humans don't have access to magic. It's quite possible that that is propaganda put forward by Asgore to kind of um, sigh off all of the monsters who are now stuck in here. Because he wants to stay there long term, doesn't he? Why would they keep taking the souls of uh, breaking the barriers and stuff? Well, they've got to keep up appearances. I bet it was like, oh, we only need like two souls to break the barrier. And then they got two souls and they're like, oh, we, we need three souls to break the barrier. And then they got three souls. And then they were like, oh, we need we need four souls to break the barrier. This this just won't do. Oh, that pen did not hit as hard as I would have liked it to. Oh, no. Oh, this isn't so bad. Oh, we still get hit regardless. Astigmatism is going down. Excellent. Wonderful. Being skibbity is not a good thing. Stop brain rot. Why doesn't everybody just attack the barrier? Because it's, it's, it's kept up there by a gigantic nuclear reactor, essentially. Yinsen, are you Sigma? I am very Sigma. I'm not an Alpha, I'm not a Beta, I'm not Omega, anything like that. I don't care about that stuff, and that is definitively exactly what you must believe to be a Sigma. Or neutralize it with the core's power? Highly doubt it. I, I, again, like, we see frequently monsters have magic. There's lore all over the place about this. Monsters have magic, humans do not have magic, um, humans have technology. Humans have powerful souls, monsters can absorb them. Like, that is, it's very black and white how it's stated frequently across the games. So, would it not make more sense for the monsters to use their magic to sustain a magical barrier that keeps humans from killing the rest of them after they lost a war? Ban people using brain rot? What? Hell no. Hell no, I'm not banning people using brain rot. What are you talking about? Why would I do that? Yeah, we allow freedom of speech. That, that is... I might not like what some people have to say, but I will die to defend their right to say it. That is definitely something that I fully believe. Oh, damn it. This frog got me. All right, good. And I'm going to take him out now. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, I've got almost four crits on that one. Good God. Grind here? Yeah, it seems like a pretty good place to grind, right? All right, let's go ahead and do the old, the old spastic dance here and grind them out. If we hate on each other, he will mute the whole chat. Yes, this is true. I will do that. And not only that, I will also remove it from the video. Okay, good. Pick on me. No, uh, my, my good sir. Oh, we got boxed into a corner. I will not do that. Excellent. Now let's see if we can take this guy out in one shot. Nice! No. Okay, he's throwing a bunch of floaters at us, which is, you know, absolutely fine. Because so we can kind of slip them. Nice. Boom, 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 boom. This place becomes your tomb. Nice! Brain rot is rotting my brain, it's giving me a headache. 
Do not go into the Metaton room. I just joined the stream, but gonna leave in like two minutes because it's 11 50 p.m. Hello, this their tail. Why would you buy a clam chowder popsicle? I would buy a clam chowder popsicle probably for its nice meaty content. It, it sounds like a really, really high protein snack, doesn't it? But at no point does it say that humans don't have access to magic. Yeah, there's, uh, there's signs all around the place. So they drop lore. But it is said in the game that seven of the most powerful human wizards have sealed the underground. Yeah, I don't know if I trust that. I don't, I really don't know if I trust that. Because what we see, basically in the intro screen, is Kara falling down the hole for the first time. It's not us. It's not us falling down the hole. It is Kara falling down the hole for the first time. And we could hear what Kara is being told as, she, as soon as she kind of like arrives down there as well. I don't think that Gaster is in the lava. It's just an object that got thrown down by an old monster that wanted to see what it was and Gaster died in his lab. How can De Gaster die in his lab if he died uh, during an accident with the core? Like, that is, that is explicitly uh, stated in the game a bunch of times. Okay, good. I'll know, I'll know when I see it, but like, it's gonna be kind of tricky to actually get to the parts where we want to kind of see the lore that we want. Because there are some things that kind of tie into fun values which just hint at events that happened. And I don't even know if I really want to consider them canon. Boom, 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 boom. Because although they are explicitly stated in the game, they're also what I would consider to be cut content by most definitions. Right, we're taking a lot of hits, but it's absolutely fine. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh. But it happened. What? I can't wait until you get into real lore. What do you mean? This is the real lore. We're doing the genocide run. This is this is the last we need to get into it. I've already got like 80% of a game theory for this game, and it's a big one too. Anything can go in, but nothing can leave. Humans could easily come in. It was made to keep humans away from them. Or it was made to trap humans down there so that they could get their souls. 27 left. Excellent. What time is it in New Zealand? Ah, oh, that is a bloody good question. It is 4. 4 p.m. It's 4 No. Yeah, 4 p.m. Sorry, I use 24 hour time and sometimes I have to do a double take. Uh, we want to farm in here, don't we? I think I've got something like a document on this laptop. I've got a bunch of documents on, on my computer. I, do, I don't know what you're referring to. I've written like two thirds of a novel and I've also got a, a bunch of novellas that I've written as well. I've got heaps and heaps of documents. I'm not entirely sure what you're um, referencing yet though. Oh, nice. That was a good amount of uh, crits right there. Uh, this is unusually easy to dodge. Oh, we still took one anyway. Okay, we'll go ahead and get rid of this night night because he hits like a truck. Oh, good. And this guy's okay. He just kind of like, he weaves at you a little bit, which is a little bit fiddly, but we can deal with it. Magic whispers, arcane swear words. Please, share your secrets. Abracadabra. It's not much of a swear word, is it? I'm, I'm not gonna use it. Ugh. Okay, good. And boom, 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 boom. Did we get him? Yeah, we got him. Nice. Do I like Star Wars? I did. I did like Star Wars. I like the first, uh, like, six Star Wars movie. Because they they fell into a really, really good cycle. Uh, you could, it didn't matter which one you started with. You could always get, you know, the lore of Star Wars pretty pretty quickly. But the seventh one, although that one was good, uh, also made room for the eighth and ninth Star Wars movies, which were utter garbage. Like, complete tripe. They put all of the events on the shoulders of one person and then lazily got, did, did you see the ninth one? Did we actually see, like where the unicorns are riding on the outside of a Star Destroyer without out helmets or space suits or anything like that? Just kind of like avoiding all of the automatic laser blasters which are firing at them. Like how the hell, oh my God, how the hell did I slip that? It, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. At least Star Wars had like a little bit of suspension of disbelief. The ninth Star Wars movie was just crap. It was just a crap film. Right, boom, boom, boom. I haven't seen any of the TV shows, though. Some people are saying some of them are really good. Now that it says this is his lab has something connected to the core. Whoa, I forgot that we were actually in a fight. That was very, very close. Connected to the core, and what I thought was that he would need as much power as he could get for his crazy experiments. A few monsters told me that. What monsters? Because if it's cut content, that's not... It, we, we can't actually consider that evidence whatsoever. Then. Yes, awesome. It seemed true. Uh, do you have like a source for that? I think I'm gonna leave the stream, not feeling good. That's okay, Tail. I, I hope you feel a little bit better. All right, good. Probably not feeling so good because we killed Muffin, the uh, the spider at her side left a little flower for her. 
I don't feel good about that one either. Minotaur Neo is very difficult. Jensen is the most energetic streamer I've ever watched. I hope he becomes more popular than... Who the hell is Shay? Is that a slur? I hope that's not a slur. Bloody Shay. Minotaur Neo is such a hard fight. I feel like if we can get rid of Undyne Undyne, we can get rid of whatever this Minotaur Neo is. What a nightmare. Is it though? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, there might be Froggin out on the fight. Good. And these other two are okay, actually. I don't mind them. We'll just keep on slipping and sliding around all of their attacks. Uh, Astigmatism has to go next because he is probably the big... Whoops. I think I accidentally double-tapped my controller at one point. He's the biggest threat because of all these floaters. Okay, I'm just going to take that hit right there. Now let's take him out for good. Nice. Excellent. It's an Undertale YouTuber. But I'm actually in pain. Uh, I hope you get better, Tail. I, I really do hope you get it better. Wait, did we just dodge fights while I wasn't looking? That's funny. Do I like Eminem? I do like Eminem, actually. Uh, this is probably a bit of a hot take, but Eminem's earlier works are right up there in my mind with like NWA, Wu-Tang Clan, uh, who else do I really like? I didn't really like a lot of Tupac. I found him a, a little bit ironically too chill for me, and I'm obviously not of the disposition that would be attracted to Tupac's lyrics. Um, you know, being, dare I say, a non-coloured person living on the other side of the world from his struggles. Uh, but in, in terms of, like, rap, Eminem is way up there. Tech 9 also way up there, even though Tech 9's a bit of a crap person himself. You know. Daddy Instant needs to pass his sub count. In the next paragraph, it says that uh, the core at the time randomly stopped sending power to his lab for a few hours, allowing the experiments to explore his lab and kill him. Again, like, if you can tell me the source, I'll go and verify it, but it, it does seem like a lot of speculation and hearsay, because not only have I not heard about that uh, anywhere on the internet while I was researching Toby Fox extensively to get the music out of copyright hell, but I also uh, haven't seen anything like that in-game either that suggests that he died in the lab. He may have. He may have. But I just don't know. Kendrick or Drake? Easily Kendrick. Come on. After he did Pedophile Mansion. No. Oh, what is that song called? We Not Like Them? One of those ones? That one's slat. That was a really good song. Project Pad is my favorite rapper. You should go back to MTT Resort. Uh, if you give me a reason, I will go back to MTT Resort. But if you don't give me a reason, I will not go back to MTT Resort. How does that sound? 18 left, good. Before you progress. Project Pad is a Memphis rap producer. Without Memphis rap, modern rap would have never existed. Really? Because as far as I'm aware, rhythm and poetry uh, got popularized around about 1978? Yeah, ar around about there, in America. But after you kill everyone, healing items? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm actually more attracted to... I, I like rap. I like rap. I like machine gun poetry. The slow stuff never really connected with me. Machine gun poetry always connected with me. Because it's just snappy, and I... I do deathcore screams, like... So, turning the voice into a percussive instrument, I am all about anyway. Okay, we'll take care of the astigmatism next. But, the soft stuff never clicked, and I kind of prefer my rap to have a lot more trap over it than actual rap itself. Memphis rap was pretty close to modern rap and trap. Oh, almost got four crits in there, that was a pretty good one. There's a healing item that does like 60 HP. What, like a single one? If it's a single item, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother. And a ton that deal 40, oh, okay. Maybe I will go back. Oh. Which shop is this? Memphis rap is a super old genre. It was more difficult, Meditan Neo or Asgore and Genocide? Uh, we haven't found out yet, because we haven't beaten uh, Genocide. This is like a blind Genocide run. I'm just farming for, for lore, essentially. Something MapHat should have done. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the empty tier resort. I'm just gonna check it out. I'm just gonna check it out real quickly. Oh, Burger Man Shop, that is right. My favorite rapper is Reese's. <laughs> Plus one for the pun. Nice. Nice pun right there. It's pretty far back though, isn't it? Like we gotta go way, way further back to uh, kind of reach the resort. I'm happy to do it if there's lots of free healing items, but at the same time, I won't like been too long trying to fiddle around with it. All right, here we are. We're exiting the core and we're entering the hotel. Ah, burger place. Oh, he's shaking in his boots. Why do I always get the freaks, he says. Poor guy. 
It's kind of funny that he thinks he's going to fight people that you don't fight. What's this? In the room to the right of the grinding bridge. It's all probably fake, though it does sound kind of real. After all, it was an old document of mine. Okay, uh, like, if you can find a source, I'll verify it. That is a hard rule on my channel, though. Like, as much as freedom of speech, I do not want to promote misinformation. If I know it's misinformation, no, if, if I suspect there's something speculation, I will not ever endorse it. I will always come to my own conclusions. Like, someone will come at me with a little bit of speculation, I'll throw some more back at them. And usually what it ends up being is, hey, you know, neither of us actually know what the hell is going on. And that's the whole point of me throwing speculation back. Now I'm free? Yeah, we got lots of money. Makes you pay. Don't spoil stuff. There's an elevator at a save point. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk to him about the evacuation. Evacuation? You're yanking my chain, little weirdo. So what if everybody else left work? So what if nobody's buying anything? Half of the course, little weirdo. Half of the course. <laughs> Metaton. Well, Metaton didn't tell me I had to work, I guess. But that's the thing. Sometimes he doesn't even call me into work until halfway into my shit. <laughs> my girlfriend is like this guy. If I don't play it safe, he's gonna yell at me. Okay, maybe yell is the wrong term. My girlfriend's been, uh, Yin Set has been off work for the last week and a half with a uh, viral outbreak of shingles, which is very unpleasant, very debilitating. Poor girl. Uh, big, big F for Yin Set, if, if you can muster one. But she can't help herself. I caught her last week clearing her inbox of emails. Like, she just can't stop working. And it seems like this guy's the same. It's more like he has this CD album he plays that's entirely full of songs about how bad I am at my job. Ah, okay, so you're seeking validation. Alone. Huh? Everyone else is dead? Does that mean I don't have to work today? God, that it were true, little weirdo. That it were true. What if we threaten him? Sorry, little weirdo. Threats won't work on me. I can't go to hell. I'm all out of vacation days. <laughs> 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 I like this guy. I like this guy. Ah, yes. I really want to buy your weird dusty artifacts. Not. <laughs> okay, so what was it that we needed lots of, right? Uh, these first two suck. The attack up one. Oh, we're getting lots of these attack up ones. Yes, yes, yes. No, okay. We're going to have to dump some of our inventory. We've probably got a couple of crab apples. He did say alone again, which is very sad. Uh, I'm going to eat this monster candy. A nice little sweet tooth right here. And we'll chase it down with a sour piece of fruit. I would probably prefer the sour piece of fruit, to be quite honest. All right, we're going to go ahead and get the legendary hero because I love damage increase. And we're going to save them for Sands because people keep telling me he's harder than Undyne. We did do Undyne, though. We did him. We did Undyne, eventually. Get the steak? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. What else have I missed? I love how the M changes to a W when he's smoking. Because weed. Ah, nice! Nice! Weed! Oh, weed references, guys. Did you guys catch the weed references in chat? You can only get one steak. Is the steak really worth it? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think the steaks are worth it. The steaks are not high enough. Like, there's not enough weed in the steaks. They're not, the steaks are just not high enough for me to spend so much money on. If it were kind of like a, um, oh, what do they call it? A, 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 a blunt. If it was like a blunt but made of steak, I would definitely get it. Ralsi smokes more weed. Ralsi doesn't exist, my dude. Steak is hella useful on Sands. With the pan, it heals 64. Honestly, that's a stack of HP. I don't care how Ralsi addresses the allegations. <laughs> Damage does not. Wait, is that a reference to uh, Undertale Yellow? Because I've seen the screenshots and the people have been requesting that I play that one in my Discord. I haven't actually played it yet, though. Okay, I think we got frog it out. Nice. All right, this is not a particularly difficult phase to get through. Excellent. Wimsloff flutters silently. Maybe we take out Wimsloff first. I think we can probably one hit Wimsloff, which would be awesome. Oh, we can. Yes, good. And then his attacks alone are pretty easy to handle, to be quite honest. TBH, TBH. Okay, the astigmatism gazes through my soul. We got one of the crits on him. That's pretty good. Take your last look. Uh, no, no whatsoever, <laughs> boom, 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 nice, with the pan it deals 64, oh that's pretty cool, that is pretty cool, the truth is that he smokes weed, oh poor guy, wait have you got the stuff from the trash cans, no, I don't need proof, I always get rid of Wimsalot first because it does annoying support and stuff, 
Does it like buff any of the creatures that we're actually fighting? Because I did see kind of like in passing that Jerry buffs enemies and we haven't seen him since the snowy area. So I'm not entirely sure if he's really going to be a, a, a huge issue. He's really tanky and he's quite annoying to deal with and his exposition sucks. But he's, he's not really that bad. Night Night blocks the way. Okay, Night 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 Night. Everybody say Night Night to Night Night. Oh, what a hit. Farewell, he says. Oh, he summoned a, um, a Fire Aga. Oh, damn, we took one of them too. Okay, good. One, two, and boom. Nice. Goodbye, he says. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, this one's not particularly difficult. Why did I think that Night Knight was so much worse than he actually is? I don't know. Night Knight. I think Night Knight is a she, but oh, okay. Why can't a nose be 12 inches? Because then it would be a foot. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> you got kids, man? <laughs> that joke, that joke just, it's, it's giving kids. All right, Night Knight blocks away. Let's go ahead and boom, 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 boom. This place becomes your tomb. 89, that's not amazing. Close your eyes. Why the hell would I close my eyes while I am fighting? That is a... Oh, right, because night night. Gotcha. It's, it's just thematic. Oh, nice. Got two crits on that one. Farewell. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Everybody say bye-bye to the night night. Oh, took one of those hits. Oops. We got two crits on that regardless of how we whiffed the first one as well. Please get the stake. You'll need it. The stake is amazing. Why can't Mystery Man's identity be revealed? Because he would not be a mystery anymore. That is true. And I also feel... Look, here's the thing, right? I, I've said this a couple of times. It's just in passing. But I just want to reiterate... I am going to go back to the stake, by the way. I just want to reiterate that all the fun value stuff, if it were actually in the base game and obtainable in the base game every single run through, not only does Toby Fox remove replayability for everybody who does play the game over and over again, because the fandom for this game is ravenous, and they did play the game for hundreds of hours. But it also adds a creepy atmosphere to the game, which would distract from the narrative that he wanted to tell in the first place. So I, I, un I, I feel like I understand exactly why he chose to cut that content and then make it kind of like a, um, a hey, yeah, this would have been in the game in another world kind of uh, stuff right there. Okay, we also have to throw up our inventory, right? We're also at the MTT Resort. So what is this key for? Dude, in the room beside the bridge room, there is an elevator. Basically takes you right back to MTT Resort. It only takes a minute to get back there. There's a save point. He gives Sans a kiss. You can skip the fight. I do it all the time. That's gross. We want to kill him. You can put stuff in the box. Oh, true, actually, that's a really good point. So we've got the uh, cowboy hat, don't we? That we can kind of get rid of. Yes, we want to put the cowboy hat in there. Nice. I don't think we're ever gonna use that bad boy ever again. The mystery key for the MTT's house, you can unlock next to the Napster Blokes. Meditons us, okay. Is there a fast way of getting back there? Okay, I got this stake in the shape of Meditons face. Thank you! If there is a fast way of getting back to the MTT... Oh, Karen, right? The boatman? Why did the baker file for bankruptcy? It was because he had no dough. He overstocked. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that sucks. There is a river person at the start of Hotland. Ah, uh, that's back, isn't it? Go back, there is a river person. Yes, Karen. Karen the boatman. So, uh, this kind of, like, occurred to me just in this session here. I feel like the actual world that we play in is supposed to be kind of like Greek underworld. Because we've got the river Lethe, we've got Tartarus, we've got the Phlegathon, we've got Acheron, and we've got Styx. Uh, Acheron and Styx are the same river. And we know that it's Acheron and Styx because the boatman is guarding them. How far back do we need to go? This is the start of Hotland, isn't it? I think River Person is available in Genocide. This is Genocide. I played this game a lot. Okay, where is he? What floor is he on? What floor is the River Person on? River Person is there? Okay, what floor? Which one? Which one am I going to? Waterfall? That's not a floor. <laughs> that's, that's not a floor whatsoever. <laughs> Left floor one, okay. Three? What do you mean three? There's a left and a right as well. Is there actually, like, are there two, three? Yeah, there's two threes. Okay, I'm not taking that advice. Then south. Okay, we're going to go south. You are still alive? Of course I'm still alive. What do you expect? I've got determination. Okay, I'm 
gonna try there's nothing over there. It's down, isn't it? So I feel like the the boatman here actually there is a separation of the liquids as well. So that reinforces the whole Greek mythology thing. Here in the Hotland, it's quite likely that this is supposed to represent Tartarus, which is a, a the Greek hell. If we go further north towards the core, we end up at the Phlegathon, which is a burning river of blood, which kind of does correlate a lot better with the zone, because here, if we look at the lava, it's definitely... Oh, we don't see it. It's definitely lava full, right? I think if we go this way, we'll see it. Yeah, so that is very clearly burning hot lava down there, right? And if we go to the core, it's more red, which is a little bit strange. And if we go down here, we get a boatman on a river. Now, this could be the River Styx and Acheron. And this could be Charon, the boatman. Ride in the boat? Of course I want to ride in the boat. Where will we go today? Uh, waterfall, isn't it? And we're off. Yeah, that's lava. So, uh, is, is the Greek mythology theory, like, does anybody disagree with this? Maybe? Tra-la-la, -la, beware of the man who speaks in hands. That's supposed to be... A Wingdings reference, right? That's supposed to be like, uh, uh, not to guess it. I think you've thought too much into this. Have I though? Have I actually thought too much into this? Because this was made by a single person on a budget. And I know for a fact from developing games myself, but nobody came. That when you are developing video games by yourself in a very, very small team, every single hand placed asset has huge amounts of meaning. Segunda Casa? I have no idea what that means, Enzo. Go left. You made games? Uh, I did as kind of like a hobby. I studied a bachelor's of IT here in my hometown. Oh my God, piss off. <laughs> I studied a bachelor's of IT before my health really got to me and I had to kind of be house ridden essentially. But yeah, no, I, I, I definitely used to make mods for games. I made a lot for No More Room in Hell. Uh, and then I started making Half-Life mods, didn't really publish anything necessarily. Uh, I'm halfway through making a visual novel at the moment in whatever spare time I have left called You Are Dog, which puts you in the perspective of a dog as your owner kind of like goes through a bunch of transitions and uh, trauma and stuff. Was it this one here? It's locked. Okay, we can't go in here. You seem like you make music too. Oh no, did you did you see the green screen come down? I This room that I am in right now is literally full of musical equipment. What is the game name? No, I haven't published anything officially. I'm, I'm in the works of making one really, really uh, good now. Unfortunately, I'm relying on an artist to help me because art is the only thing I'm not really very good at. And she's quite slow. She's just kind of helping with, with you, our dog, in, in her spare time. That's sick. You should complete it someday. Oh, I make music? Do you have the mystery key on you? Yes. I spent like four years making music. I have been making music since I was 12 years old. Mystery key, it's right here, yes. You use the mystery key, but nothing happened. Do we have to use it on something? No one is home. And you get the feeling no one ever will be. Hey, because we killed her! I love that so much. It takes place in Ireland. Have you never seen the game theory? Ah, look at this guy quoting game theory as canon law. Look at this, guys! Everyone laugh at the game theorist in chat. Maybe you can't go into his house on genocide? Maybe. It's locked. Maybe we just have to, like, use the key? You use the mystery- Ah! Oh, the Red House's door was unlocked. The key disappeared. Well, this was unexpected. I've never seen this before. Dear Diary, Chiron's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Blueki, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that. Maybe this isn't Metaton. Who is this? Dear a diary. I liked buying you diary for every entry I make. <laughs> I love to collect diaries. Dearest diary. Our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Blukey and I. Blukey asked me if I was going to try and become corporeal too. They sounded so... resigned. Come on, Blukey. You know I'd never leave you behind. Oh, so this is the guy that possessed the dummy in the sewer, right? The lore books! But that's just a theory! A wrong theory! Thanks for views. Yeah, no, I did, I, I'm pretty outspoken on how I feel like MatPat. His worst game theory was Undertale. I feel like he really dropped the ball on that one. My darling diary, I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. 
Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork and she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny too. Well, that's Alphys. I want to see her again. Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. I have like five now. Wow. Dear diary, she surpassed me with something today. Surprise me. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can become a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blukey. My dreams can't wait for anyone. Oh. Oh, okay, so... Alphys made the Metaton body to be possessed. That's cool, actually. Have you used Beatbox? It's a moddable retro game music studio. No, I use Reaper Studio. It's very, very complicated for someone who hasn't, like, used a digital audio workstation before. But my god, man, the amount of control you get in that thing is... It's chef's kiss. Reaper is literally overpowered. And Cuckoos, the developers of Reaper, uh, Reaper, uh, they came back. It was abandoned for a couple of years. They came back. They're now supporting it. And it's still a once-off payment, which still makes it a better than just about everything Adobe puts out. Okay, we've seen that. Let's go back. Oh, yeah. Definitely do not spam the chat. That will get you a timeout. First warning. Then we're off. I can't believe Jack Jacksepticeye guessed Sans' actual voice. Sorry? Tra la la Timmy Village. And the, the room before the darkening lantern room. All right, so that's just a hint. That's just a hint at uh, a, a nice little thing. Bye, King of Spiders. Bye-bye. I hope you rest up well. Oops, we went to the wrong place. That's fine. I still feel like this is the River Acheron or Leafy. Tra la la Because I, I don't know if anybody noticed while playing Deltarune, there were some religious influences in Deltarune. Like, straight religious influences. And they were otherwise ignored. I don't know why people ignore religious influences. It's a pretty good story. You know, the, the story of God and the Bible and stuff like that. The water's wild today. That's bad luck. Oh, uh, that was probably me dumping a bunch of corpses in them. He did it again. He did it again after you said first warning. It lagged. Yeah, there's 10 seconds in between when you actually uh, see me play and when the chat goes up. Come again sometime. I probably won't, Sharon. I agree. There were religious influences in Deltarune. Yeah, there were. <laughs> there were a bunch of them. Like, Noelle, by her own merit, was a religious influence. She's either an angel or a coming of Christ. And the, the snow grave route that you play uh, definitely reinforces that. So where is the progression area? I think it was like three, right? Noelle is my fave character. Yeah. Well, she's got crosses all over her head. She represents Christmas, which is a Christ thing. It might not be the actual origin of the Christ thing. Technically, uh, Christ's birthday, Jesus Christ, his birthday was in September at some point. But it was moved forward by the Roman Vatican Church uh, to kind of correlate with other religious ho holidays that were going on at the time so that everybody could have their time off together. Which is, it, it, that's a good thing. It is a good thing that it was moved. And it's probably a good thing that most people forgot about this. Uh, my grandma, who uh, was one of the two people who raised me, the other one being my grandfather, is a religious historian who taught uh, medieval history at uh, my local university for about 30 years, as well as feminism. It's pretty cool. I forgot Noel existed. Yeah, most people do. Actually, most monsters don't leave corpses because they turn to dust when they die. Oh, true. So maybe we're just muddying the river. Okay, 10 left. We're pretty close to clapping this area. Let's just go ahead and grind out in this bridge right here. Jensen loves breathing in their dust. Yes, it, it tastes. It tastes like victory! Victory! That's what we're here for, baby. We're here for the victory. All right, let's go ahead and attack this here sleepy night really quickly. Good. Whoa. Oops. Oh, oh my God, this is a tricky one. Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> night night, breathe deeply. Maybe we want to hit the magic. No, we can't one hit him actually. We probably just have to double down on the on the night, right? Okay, another tricky one incoming. Ah, damn it. Already took one. Ah, piss off. God, that little mage dude is actually just a pain in the ass. Good grief. What, you snort the dust? What? How how do you? How do you how do you take the ambrosia that is a monster's corpse? How do you take it? Surely you don't like stick it in a spoon and then stick some water in it and then you you heat it up on a on a, on a spoon and then and then you uh, eat the spoon and then it burns your tongue. Pro tip: I recommend dodging the bullets. No! 
Make me! <laughs> I will learn how to do so if I must, but honestly, at this point of the game, we don't have to. We are literally right next to a save point, and I played enough Final Fantasy to know when it's worth learning an enemy's attack set. Your love increase. Oh, Final Fantasy 15. That's what I really want to play on the channel as well. Does anyone want to see me play Final Fantasy 15? The one with the road trip bros? That one's really good. I played it a little bit on PlayStation, and the game just won me over so much. I played every single Final Fantasy. I feel like the 7 remakes really let me down, but every single other one before 7 was god tier. What are the emojis for the title? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I played Final Fantasy 15. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah? Okay. I'll, like, stick it on my private list, and I'll, I'll maybe if there's, like, if I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel, I'll get around to it. Oh, damn it. There was no escape from that one. Okay, good. Boom, 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 boom. I love when it came out as well, because so many people were talking about how, like, if you equip a certain ring, and then you just hold circle, the game plays itself. Oh, that wasn't Final Fantasy 15. That was a newer one, wasn't it? It was the newest one that came out. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I know, right? Have you tried fishing in it? The mini games in it are really fun, too. It's basically the Red Dead Redemption of fantasy. If you could... Maybe make a separation of, of whether or not Red Dead Redemption is fantasy. Because it certainly serves the male fantasy, Red Dead Redemption. God, you can break horses. You can watch someone chop a whole tree down. You can break horses after they uh, trip on a rock and die. Damn, that was a good set of attacks. I'm actually surprised that more of those weren't crits. Okay, I'm going to take the advice and dodge these attacks from now on. Okay, he's doing a mysterious jig, which is not going to save him from my frying pan. Meat heat! I like fishing. Are you enjoying genocide or pacifist more? Hard to say. I'm getting so much less lore than I was hoping from genocide just by kind of like naming myself Kara and then going through and murdering everybody indiscriminately. But at the same time, it's hard to say whether or not genocide is not the canon ending. Because I've seen reports on the internet, and I'll have to confirm this for myself. I've seen reports of the internet of whether or not you can actually start a new game, you can reset the world after genocide. So I'm not entirely sure if genocide is supposed to be the canon ending that the story just ends up being. And much like in the opening scene of Deltarune, the whole point of this game is that everything is temporary, nothing lasts forever, you shouldn't get attached to a lot of things, you should just enjoy the journey, not the destination so much. There is lore at the end, there's lore in New Home. Okay, good. I don't think there is a canon ending to Undertale. Yeah, no, a lot of people have been saying that to me, but at the same time, when you complete the genocide run, can you actually start a new game? Because if you can start a new game plus, technically that game is not the canon ending, right? Especially if there is one ending that locks you out of a new game plus. That would be a canon ending, like by definition. Good night. Good night, Theory Man the Goat. You have yourself a great night of, of death trap and whatever else game theory is famous for these days. Retiring. Okay, we won. We got... You're getting a lot of money from this. I'm going to go ahead and save. Well, maybe not save, but I'm definitely going to get my... Ah, uh, no, it doesn't hurt to save. I'm just going to save. The cannon ending is not falling. B uh, but that happened. <laughs> you can start another run after doing genocide. Okay, okay. That's good to know. Somebody in passing told me that you can't. And immediately I thought, oh, well, if you can't start another run after that, then that's got to be the that's got to be the actual Im implied ending. All right, good. That's been good so far. Um, genocide is probably a lot more fun from a technical standpoint. Pacifist, very charming, very very charming in terms of like a, a full and complete story. And I know exactly what Pacifist was trying to go for. Pacifist was trying to uh, kind of beat on the friendship pre prevails thing that uh, Deltarune really kind of also took a lot of inspiration from. Okay, that's not going to kill him. Oh, almost did. But at the same time, like, not a lot of fighting in the dating ex area. There's just like a lot of intended actions that you're supposed to use. And I'm not entirely sure if I vibe that. Not entirely sure. You just need to wait on a black screen for 30 minutes. Wait, seriously? Is that why all the world, like, resets? Or uh, just, like, while God resets the world, I suppose you could say? Or Toby Fox. Actually, Toby Fox is probably a better standard for God in this game. Okay. 
Still grinding him out. We're at like three left, I think, and then we can uh, keep on going. All the Undertale routes are really good at giving the feeling they're supposed to give, I think. I fully agree. That, that is actually a really good way of putting it. Because the neutral route, I definitely felt like there was way more to experience. Okay. Boom, 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 and boom. Uh, that knight, that's half his health. Gone in one go. Oh, damn it. We just got hit by a Fyraga. Okay, we'll do it again. Crit, crit. Oh, damn it. I whiffed one of those. That was probably enough? No, it's not enough. We gotta level up like one more time, I think. Whoa! Oh, damn it. I'm hitting all of the bullets now. Okay, night night's done. Probably don't even need to finish that attack cycle to do it. I beat my first pacifist run on Halloween. What a weird time to beat it. it that's like the, the one time of the year that I would consider pacifist run to just be off the cards. Okay, boom, 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 boom. On my first attempt. That's pretty good. I beat Sans for the second time on Halloween. Nice! Uh, Halloween I usually don't play video games because that's when I have my birthday party. I love it. I love being a Scorpio. And a Kara costume. Nice. Uh, actually, if you know about the Kara costume, like, I, I have seen the uh, screenshots floating around the internet. Is there actually a point at which we become Kara or is it just like a reflection thing? You can one-shot Knight and match Jack with a perfect crit. Really? Not, you're certainly not a single perfect crit, though. Because I've hit, like, three perfect crits consecutively. It, it doesn't even do half the health. Okay, should have two left, by my count. Should have two left, and then we can move on. Maybe uh, fight Metaton. Oh, we done it! We've done it! Determination. Yes. We've done it! You can one-shot nine magic with a perfect crit. All four bars. Okay. Uh, it's it's gonna be really kind of borderline impossible to tell now though because I've killed everyone in this area We've done 40 fights Within an hour. That's pretty good. Actually You see Kara at one point, but I don't really know about everything. Okay Well, I'll keep your speculation and conjecture in my in my head. How does that sound? All right, this is Metaton's fight, isn't it? My my so you finally arrived after our first meeting, I realized something ghastly. Okay, what is it? Oh, my controller died. I was waiting for literally anything to happen. Here, I'll plug it in. Done. Make your speculations after the run is over. What? That's the whole point of playing the game. It's, it's so fun to just wildly throw speculations all over the place. Map Hat made a career on it. So I'm going to do that while we're playing the game. And then, like, as I finish, I usually have a kind of 20-minute wrap-up session where I kind of, like, articulate my thoughts a lot better. Hardest fight in the game? Really? Onkara? Okay. Right. You're not just a threat to monsters, but humanity as well. Oh, my. That's an issue. You see, I can't be a star without an audience. And besides, there are some people I want to protect. Ah ha ha, eager as always, eh? But don't touch that dial. That's something you haven't accounted for. As any true fan would know, I was first created as a human eradication robot. It was only after becoming a star that I was given a more photogenic body. However, those original functions have never been fully removed. Come any closer and I'll be forced to show you- Ah! Oh! Oh! It's not a monster! Metaton was not a monster initially, right? So Metaton could kill all of the children that came down, and then the soul would be safely contained in one of the containers instead of going into the nearest monster. Eh? There we go! Now we know who was doing the killing! Now we know who's doing the killing! And we know that Alphys created Metaton, so then we can extrapolate. That's why Alphys has all of the self-deprecation and all of the guilt and all of the negative feelings associated with her past, which she never elaborates on. And we know that she still lives down in the lab with all of those homunculi that were created. Metaton has always been a monster. What? But it, he was built. He's a machine. <laughs> he was, he's a machine. He was built. And he just said his entire purpose was to eradicate humans. So I think he is literally purpose-built to kill humans and then store their souls. Metaton hasn't killed anybody. Cite your source. It's a robot, bro. He just said his prime function was to kill humans. 
Did you guys not catch that? I just voiced it. Fine then. Ready? It's showtime. Metatum was a good idea from Elphus. He's a ghost that Elphus made a body for. Whoa, okay. Is this your first time doing the genocide? Yes, it is. Please cite your sources, everybody. Please cite your sources. I literally just extrapolated evidence from the game as I saw it, and now I'm being told that the robot is literally a monster. What, where are you guys getting all of this evidence? I, I just saw direct dialogue saying that Metaton's prime function was to kill humans. And you're all telling me now that Metaton was built just to house a ghost? Wouldn't the robot have been repurposed to house the ghost rather than purpose built to kill humans as a ghost lived in it? What are you guys talking about? I know Metatons Neo Suit was made by Elphus, but who created Spamton Neo Suit? Uh, really good question. Probably Toby Fox. You're right. In the Dark World is a real suit, I think. How would Spamton make it? No idea. He's not relevant to this game. Metaton is a ghost with a robot body. Yeah, it's the robot body that was purpose built to kill people. He lives in a literal garbage hut. What if you check? Uh, we. Well, I'm probably not gonna beat him first go, am I? Let's go. We can't check him. We can only act. Oh, we can check him. All right, Metaton Neo, 90 attack, 9 defense, Dr. Elphus's greatest invention. Yeah, so what we're looking at here, this is Dr. Elphus's invention. We also don't know if Dr. Elphus didn't build the machine to kill the humans in the first place. Because that's the big square one. The big square one was purpose built to kill the machines. This one right here, this one was built for the ghost. On speculation, I saw that each soul was killed on different sections based on what each soul attacks with during the flowy fight and where you fight their items in the game. No idea. I know we're talking about Undertale. I was just mentioning that. MTT is waiting so long to do something. I'm doing the genocide too. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Genocide's really, really fun. I posted all my evidence for Gaster staying alive after falling in the core in the fairy crafting chat. I'm excited to see that. I'll take a look at it after I end the recording for this here session. And I'll try and keep it in the video as well. Just realized the similarity between Spamton Neo and Metaton Neo suits. Yeah, did you not realize the similarity between the two games? They were made by the same person. Okay, so we got that. Oh, we didn't have to do anything. Oh, nice. Yeah. Guess you don't want to join my fan club. We're a murderer, murderer in the core. And I'm gonna murder like she never murdered before. Okay, here, look, here's the thing, right? I am going, I am going to bring up, I'm going to bring up Metaton's voice lines, okay? Let's put this to rest. Let's look up Meta, Metaton Genocide, and we'll look up his voice lines together, and I will show you that he was purpose-built to kill humans. Where is it? Where, where's his, like, quote? Human. Here we go. Metaton poises as an entertainment robot, human killing robot, human killing robot. That's not speculated. That is direct evidence. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep, let's just keep on going. It's no desire to hurt humans and is far more interested in simply entertaining. That is probably the ghost. That's not the robot. The robot was purpose built to kill humans. Let's keep on going. First, he forces the protagonist to become his assistant in a cooking show when Metaton is preparing the cake with a human soul. Yep, we already know that. Give me the quote. Give me his literal quote. Okay, we're getting too much into uh, spoilers pretty soon, I think. Yes, claiming his original functions as a human eradication robot were never fully removed. Can we read? Let's put our reading glasses on, guys. What does this say? Claiming his original functions as a human eradication robot were never fully removed. I rest my case. Direct evidence in the game. Direct evidence. We're not interested in the ghost that's living in Metaton. That, that's, that's not relevant. We are interested in the robot itself. Why was the robot built? The robot was built 
as its original functions, a human eradication robot. When the ghosts went in there, they were never fully removed, so the ghost is going to be influenced by its programming, essentially, is, is what it's saying. No he uses Opera GX? Yeah, I've got a decent graphics card. <laughs> the robot only has a soul because it's the ghost. Yes! Yes! I use Opera. Opera's good. Opera's really, really good. Okay. Does that put it to rest? We we looked up the wiki. We saw direct evidence a bunch of different times in the wiki, citing quotes, that he is a human killing machine. So why is it so hard to believe that the human killing machine would be the thing killing humans and putting their souls into the canisters? Why why can't we why why can't we believe this? What ghost? Oh, we uh, saw kind of like, sorry, I clicked on chat. We saw a uh, kind of hidden room back in the waterfall that belonged to a ghost who uh, said that Elphus made a robotic body for him. And it was not purpose built for the ghost. The robot body existed. Elphus modified it to look a lot more pink and fabulous, uh, much like the bedroom did. I believe Jensen is right. Yeah, how, how, literally, how could you dispute that? It, it's direct evidence we just saw. <laughs> <laughs> Diaries of Metaton's house? Yeah, uh, well, I don't really want to say it's Metaton's house because I'm pretty sure the ghost has a name that's not Metaton. Metaton is probably the the robot itself. The ghost uh, likely has a name of its own. Because you find the items of the human's use in a different section, e.g. toy knife in the ruins. Uh, sorry, what are you... What are you saying here? Oh, the robot only has a soul because it's the ghost. Yes. Yes, we know that. We don't know what his name was before. Yeah, we, do, we, we just don't know. We know that he's a ghost. We just don't know what his name was before. But, hey, hey now, hey now, me not looking at other YouTubers' theories, hey now, are we listening? Me not looking at other YouTubers' theories has just given us free lore. Right? Right? Metaton thinks he's a FNAF character. <laughs> All we really have is when Pepperus said, Hapster, look, the happy ghost. Hey, that's actually, uh... No, I don't, I don't recognize that, but I'll take your word for it because that's not really integral to any of the plot whatsoever in this game. It's not harmful to the story. It's not harmful. Oh my God, are we at the end? Holy hell. This is the fastest I've ever been in this. So this has got to be completely empty, right? I hate that it's completely silent here. It was in a call? Uh, okay, I'll have to take your word for it then. Like, again, I... It, when you are theory crafting, you can take people's word at face value if, if they are not harmful to the overall story. Like, if, if there's a theory that doesn't really change anything, and that same theory also doesn't have any dependency for an, an additional theory, like how MatPat said that Mystery Man is Gaster, and then uh, lots and lots of other theories created a dependency on that one connection with zero evidence, that's harmful. But as long as you've got theories that don't do that, that that's absolutely fine. That's more of a headcanon than anything else, right? Okay, we're at New Home. So this was the original house. This is where the, the original house where Toriel and Asgore and Kara initially lived. Howdy, Kara. Can I tell you something? Uh, only if it debunks something, but uh, if, if you're about to spoil something of the game that I'm literally just about to see, do not spoil anything. Metaton asks you if you'd kiss a ghost during the quiz at Elfie's. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's really cute. I like that. That's sweet. Okay. I saw the dialogue myself. I would love to trust you. I would love to trust you at face value, but like at the same time, I'm a, I'm a skeptic. And we're theory crafting here for an overall plot, so... One person's reliance. We can't... Look, when you create a house, right? When you build a house for the first time, and I uh, spent five years building homes, you want your foundations strong as you possibly can manage them. Because the stronger your foundations, the longer the house will last overall. If you have tiny, crappy foundations, the house is just going to crumble over. And that tiny, crappy foundation is usually just one person um, kind of saying, just trust me, bro. That, that's usually the foundation that uh, usually crumbles everything over. Interact with everything around here, please. Oh, yeah, I will. You can bet your ass I'm going to. Howdy, Kara. You finally made it home. Remember when we used to play here? <laughs> Boy, today's going to be just as fun. Okay. Taking the key. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Why, why is there a keychain on my phone? Oh, the phone, by the way. The phone. There is a fun value event, uh, event that I don't necessarily think is cut content. 
Stoked up. I think that there's kind of like an instance where you get a phone call and it's some guy asking for no chocolate. It's weird. There's some guy asking for some guy that starts with G to, to answer the phone. So, I don't necessarily want to cast dispersions on this either, but I have a strong suspicion that Toriel gave us Gaster's cell phone. The wrong number song? Is that what you're talking about? I think so. I've only seen dialogue. I remember when I first woke up here, in the garden. I was so scared. Hmm. I couldn't feel my arms or my legs. My entire body had turned into a flower. Mom! Dad! Somebody help me! I called out. But nobody came. Ah, uh, let's go to this flower right over here. It's a golden flower. That's nice. Love it. The coals are still warm. It's a great reading chair. But it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Nothing useful. Huh. What, what was the dialogue in the other playthroughs at this, at this bookshelf right here? Seems like gardening tools. Okay. Kara likes chocolate. Okay, flower law. Oh, right, Kara likes chocolate. So the red text is kind of like Kara's backstory, right? So if there's nothing useful here, Kara didn't ever like the reading aspect of, of her uh, captivity. You could probably call it, right? There's no other humans that come down here uh, before Kara. There's another flower just up here that I'm going to uh, take a look at. It's a golden flower. All right. Thanks, game. That's all, I suppose. Flower lore. I'm quite pl proud of my flowery voice. Jensen, any YouTuber inspired you to do YouTube? Uh, I hate to say it, Chaotic Monkey was somebody that I watched uh, quite frequently when, when I was a teenager, before him, PewDiePie. Those two together uh, definitely inspired me to start creating content and then publish the content. And while it's still not kind of like up anywhere for anybody to uh, kind of see now, because I got insecure and I deleted everything as I was posting it, uh, they definitely inspired me. It's a shame that Chaotic Monkey, Monkey ended up having that giant mental breakdown. PewDiePie, though, still a GC. I love him. All right, there's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Yes, we got the locket. So, I don't know... A lot of people have been telling me that the thing on this side of the room has been for uh, Asriel, and the thing on the other side of the room was for us, Kara. But why would Asriel want a locket and not Kara? Why would Kara not want a locket of her new surrogate parents? Right? Why would, why would she not want that? There's also a, a knife in here as well, which I also believe was Kara's. You're carrying too much. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll... I oh, know. Probably don't need the torn notebook. Let's drop that. Torn notebook was thrown away. Knife inside the box. We can always go back to the turtle and just buy more of them. Yes, I will take it. You got the real knife. Good. Okay, we're going to use that as well. Right this second. Done. About time! About time! Dialogue! About... About time! You will not lead, need the locket. Okay, I'll, I'll check it out. Okay, I'll check it out. Where is it? The locket, right here. Info. The locket, armored fence, 99. You can feel it beating. What? What? You should do the info on the stuff. I think we already used info on the knife. I'll do it right now anyway. Real knife, weapon attack 99. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Weird. So why would I not want to use the locket? That seems like common sense. Right where it belongs. So it does belong to Kara. The locket belongs to Kara. I feel like the knife also belongs to Kara. Because Kara was still alive. No, she wasn't when Asriel died. Asriel died last. But why would her parents given her a knife? That doesn't make sense. All right, it's a golden flower. Interact with the other stuff. It's cool. It's cool, I swear. Okay, I'll go back in. I don't know how cool it's actually going to be. Dusty toys. Yep, that's the same as last time we came in here. His bed. All right, that's Asriel's bed. That makes sense. So the locket was on Asriel's side. And Kara's bed right here had the knife. That's why I think the knife belongs to Kara. My bed. Okay, I don't know if that's because we're named Kara or if we're uh, just like a child or something like that. My drawing. Okay, that's Kara's drawing. 
And so we are saying that is my bet. Okay. That is a photo of Asriel and Kara. I think we got that in the pacifist playthrough. Our clothes. Hmm. Strange. We are getting, like, weird different dialogue, aren't we? It's a golden flower. What's in here? Room under renovations. Good to know. It's useful for Sans. Sans is special attacks. Eventually, the king found me crying in the garden. I expl explained what had happened to him. Then he held me, Kara. He held me with tears in his eyes, saying, There, there. Everything is going to be all right. He was so emotional. But for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. All right, so that's motivation for the king to basically stay down here, right? The, the flower is planted in the ground of Flowey. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Excellent. All right, what's here? The entries are always the same. Okay. It's just a chair. What about this? It's a king-sized bed. Flower? Macaroni out of a flower. The king dad! Aww. Okay. Nothing useful. Weird. Still has that sweater. Ah, this is Kara's dialogue. So Kara's dialogue is in red, which either means fear response or it doesn't mean fear response and it means determination. I see why everybody's saying Kara's soul was determination now because it is the same color and fonts matter in this game. They, uh, they do matter. Holy hell, you got to the end really fast? Yeah, thanks. I was expecting more kind of like Kara imagery, like this reflection right here I was thinking would be Kara-esque. It's a golden flower still. All right. The thing is, sometimes I can't pull off my flower voice, but when I can, I'm proud of it. Good for you. I'm proud of you too. The soul color on Kara's coffin is red. All right, I'll have to see it to believe it, but I'm pretty sure that every time we go and see that coffin, it's got the name of uh, Frisk written on it. Whatever Frisk says that her name was right at the start, that is what is written on the coffin. I do, it wasn't Kara. I'm certain it wasn't Kara. Interact with the mirror? Oh, wait. Wait, am I onto something? Are we actually going to get like an awesome little, little reflection? Okay. It's me, Kara. It's me, Kara. Okay. Right. You name the first fallen human. Yeah, but we don't play as them. That's, that's weird. For the game to start with you naming the first fallen human and then a massive time jump years later. That is strange. Admitting Jensen is going to beat Sans 30 at time. Do it, trust me. You have to spam it. Okay. We're going to spam the mirror. It doesn't say, what is your name? It's me, Kara. 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 I'm it's me, Kara. 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 I know that it's not changing. I am literally just like matching this while I read chat. <laughs> it's me, Kara. Okay. And the reason I went with Kara instead of Chara, which is what I was calling her. A lot of people are saying that it's just short for character, which like kind of makes sense if it's the first human that fell down here and you never get to see them. I unlocked the chain. Oh, Karalor. The date I came here. Date I came here. Is this... Wait, wait, uh, what is written on this in the kind of like blind playthroughs? Watching paint dry again. Oh, I'm sorry that law hunting in this game is boring you so delirium. It's not like it's the only reason we're here. Oh, okay. All right, I soon realized I didn't feel anything about anyone. My compassion had disappeared. And believe me, it's not like I wasn't trying. I wasted weeks with that stupid king, vainly hoping I would feel something. But it became too much for me. I ran away from home. Eventually, I reached the ruins. Inside, I found her. Tara. I thought of all the people. She could make me feel whole again. She failed. Haha. <laughs> like us Kara or like old Kara? I realized those two were useless. I became despondent. I just wanted to love someone. I just wanted to care about someone. Kara, you might not believe this, 
But I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in the world without love. Not in a world without you. So, I decided to follow in your footsteps. I would erase myself from existence. And you know what? I succeeded. There you go! She had a blackened soul! She came down here after murdering a bunch of people. I think we literally just got that from the horse's mouth right there. I wonder what the number for X is. Does it matter what X is? No, it, do it doesn't really matter what X is. We have a year's worth of a time jump, and I don't think that's ever going to be elucidated on. He's talking about Toriel. Is he though? Or is he talking about Kara? What do you mean blackened soul? Okay, so um, I had this, this theory. That I've been saying over and over and over again that Kara came down. Everybody has a different colored soul, right? Kara's soul was blackened by hatred from whatever she experienced up in the top world with the humans. She came down here. I theorized that she pushed Gaster into the core to prevent being, um, you know, found out. Like Gaster was studying something based around photons from Entry 17. I don't think it's magic. I don't think it was the core. The core was already built by this point. I think it was Kara. I think that he was studying Kara's soul. He found that she had a blackened soul of some sort, just like a, a soul of hatred. And he was going to tell Toriel or Asgore and Kara pushed him into the core to stop him from telling any of the people above them. Something happened to Kara after that, which kind of alerted Toriel to the fact that Asgore uh, kind of sanctioned all of the studies on Kara as well as the um, giant monsters in the lab that we saw with Alphys, and then broke up, essentially. That's a, a, at its most basic. That is my running theory so far. What do you mean found out? Well, it's a small place. You, you can't really keep secrets, right? Do you have proof for this? Uh, yeah, that little pixel floating around in the lava, and I'm hoping to get proof from the end of this genocide run, which I have been hoping to get proof for from a month. This is interesting. And everybody knew? No, no, here's the thing. I don't think everybody knew. I think that everybody thought that humans were just murderous creatures because after Kara, they just randomly had this robot to, to just kill humans, siphon off their souls. But with Kara, there was something different. They kind of adopted her as their adoptive parents. And oh, it's really hard to explain. They loved her, right? But she betrayed them, essentially. And then she went on a war path I think after she got sick, she may have died. Her soul went wanders, and then she became a ghost of some sort. Again, I don't have evidence for this specifically. I don't have evidence for what happened to Kara. This is what I wanted to play the genocide run through in the first place. Everybody knew. So, Asgore made up a bunch of propaganda about all of the humans having been evil in the first place to justify just kind of like killing them on sight. And if they made it past Toriel in the ruins then you could guarantee that compassion just wasn't going to work. I think the DT experiments with the amalgamates and stuff is more recent. You don't know that. It's not dated. Kara poisoned themselves. Cite your source. <laughs> I mean, that could actually be the case. We just, we simply don't know. It says the underground was full of hope when talking about the backstory of Kara and Asriel. Well, yeah, it was, it, on the surface, it looked like a mon the prince of the monsters and a fallen human getting along. That would have been a political marriage. You are not getting proof from the end of this, I don't think? Kara poisoned themselves with buttercups? That's not poisonous. It was a plan with Asriel to free the monsters. Jensen, what game you think you're going to play after this in the True Lab, in the tape room? Uh, I have no idea. Um, I've been running this game all day today. I don't know what I'm going to play next, but... You'll know by tomorrow because I stick an alert in the community section of my YouTube. If you turn on notifications, you'll get a little blip on your phone. But as I left this mortal coil, I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you... Something primal started to burn inside of me. No, I thought, I don't want to die. Then I woke up. Like it was all just a bad dream. I was back at the garden. Back at my save point. Okay, so this is where he becomes uh, elevated above the surface layer of the game. In the true lab, in the tape room. I saw the tape room. I recorded the tape room. In fact, I went back to the tape room because I promised everybody I'd stream it and I um, uh, kind of went back to it and not thinking it was just going to be an extra 10 minutes. Like, uh, you, all of the stuff is on my channel. You can go watch that if you want. But I didn't actually see anything on the tapes that would necessarily say, hey, packed seppuku. 
<laughs> Buttercups aren't poisonous. They're not a poisonous flower. They're inert, essentially. Interesting. Interested. I decided to experiment. But it, actually, in case I did miss something, I'll go look it up on the internet. Maybe I did miss something. Again and again, I brought myself to the edge of death. At any point, I could have let this world continue on without me. But as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing, isn't it, Kara? I was amazed, too. Okay, so determination is what gets you to respawn. At first, I used my powers for good. I became friends with everyone. I solved all of their problems flawlessly. Their companionship was amusing for a while. As time repeated, people proved themselves predictable. What would this person say if I gave them this? What would they do if I said this to them? Once you know the answer, that's it. That's all they are. I definitely feel that, actually. I, at the end of this um, genocide run, we know exactly what people are supposed to do. So it does kind of throw a spanner in the works, doesn't it? Eat flowy? What? <laughs> Eat flowy! Talks about how they made pie for Asgore. By the way, there is different dialogue at the end of Pacifist and Genocide for doing a genocide run. There's buttercups instead of cups of butter by accident. Why would that be poisonous? And he got really sick. I was going to leave and rejoin my phone account. Let us know so that we recognize you. The car tells Israel to turn off the camera around there. Okay, bye. And then in the next tapes. Okay, I'll go back. I'll watch my own video on those tapes, right? And then we can come to a decision together. Now, because we now have all of the law at our fingertips. Aside from all of the gaster stuff and all of the fun value stuff, which realistically, we just don't need. We don't need any of that stuff. We don't need it. Curious what would happen if I killed them. I don't like this, I told myself. I'm just doing this because I have to know what happens. Ha <laughs> ha! What an excuse! You of all people must know how liberating it is to act in this way! At least we're better than those sickos that stand around and watch it happen! Those pathetic people that want to see it, but are too weak to do it themselves! Why well, bet someone like that's watching right now, aren't they? Ah, fourth wall breaking! So that ties into the theory that I had with Spamton and Jevil, where they're elevated above the game and we, the player, are actually a character in this universe being interacted with by uh, the elevated creatures that I keep calling them. Nowadays, even that's grown tiring. You understand, Kara. I've done everything this world has to offer. I've read every book. I've burned every book. I've won every game. I've lost every game. I've appeased everyone. I've killed everyone. Sets of numbers, lines of dialogue, I've seen them all. But you, you're different. I never could predict you, Kara. I don't know if he's talking to us, the player, or the actual play, the character model. When I saw you in the ruins, I didn't recognize you. Why well, thought I could frighten you, then steal your soul? I failed. And when I tried to load my save file, it didn't work. Kara, your determination! Somehow it's even greater than mine! Huh. Chilling. I just have one question for you, Kara. How did you get back to the ruins from here? Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left. And decided to give you a proper burial, rather than... Right, so that ties into the Toriel breaking up with Asgore over Kara thing, which uh, was something I theorized already in my theory. Hanging out in the basement forever. But why then? What made you wake up? Did you hear me calling you? Why we had... No, we aren't Kara. We aren't Kara. There's, yeah, there's no shot we're Kara. It doesn't matter now. I'm so tired of this, Kara. I'm so tired of all of these people. I'm tired of all of these places. I'm tired of being a flower. Kara, there's just one thing left I want to do. Let's finish what we started. Let's free everyone. Then. Let's let them see what humanity is really like. That despite it all, this world is still kill or be killed. Ooh. Then? Well, I had... Been entertaining a few ways to use that power. <laughs> but seeing you here changed my mind. Kara, I think if you're around, just living in the surface world doesn't seem so bad. Right, that's weird. We don't even need to leave to get them this time. The king has six of them locked away. I've tried hundreds of ways to get him to show me them, but he just won't. Kara, I know he'll do it for you. Ah, 
Kara, because we're Kara. Right, okay. Why am I telling you all of this? Kara, I said it before. Even after all this time, you're still the only one that understands me. You won't give me any worthless pity. Creepy. Creatures like us wouldn't hesitate to kill each other if we got in each other's way. So that's... So that's why... Ah, uh, ah. Uh, what's this? Feeling? Why am I shaking? Hey, Kara? No hard feelings about back then, right? Hey, what are you doing? Back off! Oh! Are we seeing this? I got tangles! I got ghost bumps! You made the soulless flower skid? Oh! Oh, it's nice seeing you. Bye, Delirium. Uh, what did I miss? What did I miss in chess? The voice acting is amazing. Ah, uh, thank you so much. I've been doing music for 20 years. Uh, you should watch the Jensen fight Sansa did. They broke up that uh, Asgore killed six humans. What? No! We've already established that Asgore didn't kill the humans. We've established that the robot was purpose designed to kill the humans. Flowey says he was Kara. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Great. Okay. Make sure you visit room 272. I have no idea what that means. Flowey thinks you're Chara. Some people have different theories and stuff. Right. About Chara and Frisk and all this. Well, I mean, it's been so long, right? How would Flowey recognize us? We, I mean, he looks different. Why wouldn't we look different? Okay. And 264? No idea what that means either. Okay, let's progress. I... I've changed my mind about all of this. This isn't a good idea anymore. You, you should go back, Kara. This place is fine the way it is. S stop making that creepy face. This isn't funny. You've got a sick sense of humor. Yeah, so Kara, there's another thing, another guest thing that everybody was absolutely going on about constantly. Gesta has a creepy smile, right? And you see uh, a bunch of people say, hey, there's someone around you who's got a creepy smile. I think it's I think it's more likely to be Kara's ghost. I feel like this right here, the genocide run, might be a possession story. What do we think? What what do we think about that? Like a, a possession story. The robot was made after the sixth soul. Uh, you literally do not know that. The emotionless flower is shaking in terror. Here we go. It has gas a law. What gas a law does it have? Okay, so my running theory with this right now is that we have leaned into the base nature of humanity so well that Kara has essentially used her soul floating around in the world to possess us. I feel like that is what we are seeing right now. I think it's probably Kara for the smile. Yeah, right, it's probably Kara for the smile. Every time they say, hey, someone behind you has a really creepy smile, it's probably not the mystery man who doesn't have an att attribution to a character. It's more likely, because we just saw that line of dialogue, it's more likely to be Kara. How can Kara be behind us if we don't see her coming up on us? Ghost. So I don't think that Kara woke up at all. I think Kara died around no monsters. I think that Kara's ghost started floating around and she... I don't know, maybe learn some kind of resistance to being yeah, kind of like captured by ghosts, uh, the monsters. The Phantom used to think Kara was possessing the Frisk. That's what I'm thinking right now. The elevator is actually a monster. Gives you a lot of experience. You're full of it. There's no shot. <laughs> nice. Damn. G'day there, Alexino. Okay, we're at Sands. Ooh. I'm late as hell. Yeah, you missed the entire playthrough, my dude. We're at Sands. No? No, it's 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 not a monster. <laughs> no, I just went in it. <laughs> Get your best items? <laughs> Why the hell would I need my best items? Hey, uh, you've been busy, huh? So, I've got a question for you. Do you think even the worst person can change? Not everybody can be a good person if they just try. I feel like he's talking about Kara in this instance. I I I still assert. That Kara had a blackened soul, Gasta found out, and then all the events led up to basically where we are now, right? He's going to say the thing. Do you have the pie? I've got a pie. All right. Well, here's a better question. Do you want to have a bad time? Because if you take another step forward, you're really not going to like what happens next. Well, sorry, old lady. This is why I never make promises. Why do you, why do you say old lady? <gasps> Do 
sorry, Al. He said, he said, I'm sorry, old lady. That's got to refer to Toriel. That's got to. The robot was made by Alphys, and I don't think Alphys is that old. No, the robot was edited by Alphys to have the, the uh, kind of like the sexy legs and stuff for the ghost. Have you not been paying attention? I already showed everybody the goddamn dialogue in this game where there is explicitly lines that say the robot was created to kill humans. And then the ghost was put into it. Guys! Come on! It's gonna be hell. It's a beautiful day to die outside. Okay. Old lady is Toriel. That's what I thought. So I think he's breaking a promise to Toriel. Either about killing a child or about killing Frisk. Or Kara. Because we are technically named Kara, right? Birds are singing, flowers are brooming. Incident in Mediton, ship heart coming. Well, maybe. Um, now, I hate to blue balls everybody, but I am going to go and do a biological function really quickly. I'll be back in literally less than a minute. I cannot wait to see this fight. I'll be right back. Okay, let's fight Sans. We all ready? It's kind of funny how oblivious he is on this fight. Okay, I'm not gonna read chat in case there are any spoilers. And I uh, thank you everybody for, uh, for sticking out with me. I am happy to fight this guy 38 times in a row. I don't wanna do it while I'm bursting to take a wee, right? That's, that's, that's not something anybody wants. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like you should be burning in hell. What the hell is that purple thing on his health bar? Is that shield? Piss off. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, my days! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> What? You're gonna be all right. Kara, stay determined. Oh my god. Not a shield? What was that? There was a purple thing on the health bar. I did get dunked on. Absolutely, I got dunked on. You killed my brother. I did. Sorry to go back to Metaton, but when you check Metaton, Neo, it said it was a creation of Alphys. Yes, Neo was a creation of Alphys. The additions on top of Metaton were created by Alphys. We don't know who made the original robot killing robot. A uh, human killing robot. What we do know is it's either Gaster or it was Alphys back when they were still doing the studies on the lab. And since Alphys is still living with the homunculus down in the basement of the laboratory, I think it's pretty safe to say Alphys is expressing all of that guilt and projecting and all of that crap simply because Alphys was the one that created the robot in the first place to harvest the human souls and they're feeling the guilt from all of those deaths. Right? Makes sense? 
We, I, I already went through and I showed everybody the dialogue that explicitly states that Metaton was made to kill humans. Oh my god. People have played this up to a hundred times before beating him. At least it's a really quick fight, right? It's like poison damage. Oh, really? Okay. Achievement unlock first of many. Wowee. You're a goat. Okay. The purple thing on the health is Karmic Retribution, which is basically poison. Ah. Lack of iframes. Okay. But why would she get so attached to the ghost inside of Metaton? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because the ghost is sentient. Had you considered that? No, it's not quick. Okay. All right, let's start learning this bastard. There's got to be a way, right? There's got to be an easy way around. Well, I say easy. I, I already kind of, I've got the vibe of the fight. The shame is so far forward. If it was, if there was a save point right before you fight him, it would be significantly easier to beat him because you could just get straight into the fight. You look frustrated about something. You're some pretty good at my job, huh? So his job, his job is to kill the killers as well. Maybe he was in on it too. Maybe he was also in on the whole Asgore um, studies thing. Alpha suddenly became royal scientist because, recently because she had made Metaton. What? No, she was also the apprentice of Gaster. What? Yeah, hit once and you're dead. Yeah, essentially, that's what I'm seeing. There's no easy way, just pure muscle memory. Well, I got muscles and uh, I got memory. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's have a go. A beautiful day. Oh, I can't skip his dialogue. Bro's just, bro's just dumping. I wish I could take initiative. Chippy bear in the hill. Thank you. Whoop. That one's tricky. Middle, side, middle, top. Okay. Oh, I always wonder why people never use their strongest attack first. You feel like you're gonna have a bad time. Oh, yes! Boom, 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 boom. I missed. That sucks. What? You think I'm just gonna stand there and take it? Oh, damn, that is hard. That, that is a tiny, tiny little frame to go through. Whoa! Pretty easy fight. Oh, yeah. She even said that she could make another kind of implying she made Metaton. Yes, sir, my father. Sorry, what the hell are you guys talking about? Here's the royal judge. Oh, that makes sense, actually. That would make a lot of sense. Because I always got Anubis vibes from Sans right at the end of the game, right? You know Anubis, how he, he weighs your heart in the after... This is Egyptian mythology now we're talking about, not Greek. He weighs your heart against a feather on some scales. And if your heart is heavier than the feather, he eats you and your heart. He feasts on you. Read every single one of Sans' dialogues? Yes, I will definitely do that, if I can pay attention. Damn, that that's no joke, though. That is no joke. That is absolutely no joke. Oh. Oh. Mm, that expression. That's the expression of someone who's died twice in a row. Suffice to say, you look really unsatisfied. All right. How's about we make it a third? Sure, buddy, old pal. Can we skip the intro? Or... Dude, come on. Come on. Birds are singing. Finally! Oh, okay. Okay. Side, center, top. Excellent. So we've only got one HP. Anyway, as I was saying, it's a nice day out. Why not relax and take a load off? <laughs> Let's check. Sans one attack, one defense. The easiest enemy can only deal one damage. Oh, that's exactly what he needs to kill us, though. What? Oh, what? Oh. Oh, we got hit by the bone straight out of the start. This is going to take a while. Yeah, it seriously is. Egypt went hard. It did, didn't it? Seriously, the Sands fight is like the most fun fight in the game, but it's frustrating at first. Jensen, do you like the Undertale soundtrack? Yes! Oh my god, yes! I literally cannot say just how much I like the Undertale soundtrack. Kara, stay determined. Oh, yes, I will. Spam X and O to skip dialogue. I was. There was, there was no option. There's no option whatsoever. Uh, hello, lovely. What's up? Okay, are you just going to come hang out? Yeah, I've seen the vlog. Sorry, Yinset's coming. That's the expression of someone who's died thrice in a row. Hey, what comes after thrice, anyway? A force. Want to help me find out? 
All right, we'll take him by force. Ready? Ow! Boost! Okay, middle, side, middle, top. Right, we survived a little bit. Ooh. Here we go! Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Does he dodge all of them? Yes. What? You think I'm just gonna stand there and take it? Well, maybe not. Damn it! <laughs> I just never got to those bone ones. Eat? Why would I eat? What's, it? What's the point of eating? You're going to be alright. Quace is after thrice. Made that word myself. It, it kind of, uh, kind of gives me five vibes, unfortunately. All right, back to it. Let's go slam this bone head. What a crap one-liner that was. Oh, it, it does work. Okay, I did spam it. Ready? Oops. Ah! And middle, side, middle, and top. <laughs> I didn't realize they stay after time. All right, thank you very much for spaghetti any for the custom word. All right. We, uh, <clears throat> Honestly, like, how difficult is he? Like, realistically, does he have, like, a billion HP? Are we going to be here for a couple of years? Hmm, that expression. That's the expression of someone who's died five times in a row. Convenient, huh? That's one for each finger. But soon, you'll need a cool mutant head to count all of your deaths. Yeah, that is cool. Ready? Yes! Okay, we still took a little bit of damage. That's fine. Top and middle and top. Okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead and use the noodle. See what that does. My God, it does do a lot of health. The noodles are in crazy. Is this Delta Rune roleplay twisted timelines? Ah, uh, uh, here's one. How he dodges? Check him. Here's one HP. Yep, couple of hours. Okay. Whoop, whoop. I'm just gonna practice him for a bit. Oh, those are gonna get so wacky, I can almost guarantee it. Just keep attacking. Okay, fine. Boom, 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 boom. Missed. What? You think I'm just gonna stand there and let you... Okay, we don't wanna move through those, right? Oh, pose. Oh my God, those are so unforgiving. Just keep attacking. How many times can we attack before we actually land a hit, though? Missed. A report showed a massive anomaly in the time-space continuum. Time was jumping left and right, stopping and starting. That was rude. One of those was moving faster than the other one. If you don't attack, the fight doesn't progress. Wait until the KR is gone before full healing. Okay. Kara, stay determined. We still lose health though. There's nothing that fully restores our health. You need to attack to move on with the actual fight. You'll know, phase one does. Okay. Phase one. What are you taking the piss? Okay, I'm already over how long this hallway is. This is just frustrating. It's frustrating and annoying. Hmm, that expression. That's the expression of someone who's died six times in a row. That's the number of fingers on a mutant hand. <laughs> but soon, you'll need to find a mutant hand with even more fingers. Creepy! Ready? I am, my dude. Whee! Okay, good. And whoops. Corner, middle, and corner. I think I didn't dodge a single one of those. Here we go! Alright, let's use the L hero. You hit the legendary hero. Attack increase by four. Nice. 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 Not nice. 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 Nice! Not nice. Okay. Just keep attacking. Let's do it. Boom, 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 boom. What? You think I'm just gonna let you stand there and take it? Oops. Oh! That is borderline impossible. Oh my god. Do you not have the pie? Pie fully restores your health. Yeah, but do we want to waste it right on the first go? What a waste! Okay, we're gonna go again. Is there like a like a mod or something that just removes all of this waiting in between the fight? Because this is cumbersome. This is honestly, I wouldn't say this is great design. Probably the, the worst design in the game so far. Seven times in a row. Hey, that's good. Seven's supposed to be a lucky number. Who knows? Maybe I'll hit the jackpot. And that number will multiply tenfold. That would be 70. I doubt it. Ready? Yep. Whee! Dodging everything. Metal, top, metal, top. Excellent. Now we can use an item. Here we go! The pan noodles are full heal too. Yes. After dying, all the items resets. 
You can do sand simulator. Oh no. Is there actually an app to practice this? Alright. We just maxed out our HP. Boop. It didn't do anything. Oh. Okay. Yep. Good. Nice. And I'm going to attack. Boom, 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 boom. Missed. Excellent. Oops. Is there a way of going down faster? Because I'm like holding down on the D-pad and there's, there's, there's no speed increase. Use the pie and learn the basics because this will take hours to beat. I counted my attempts. The bad time simulator is even harder. The long warway is made to discourage you. Oh, that's a shame. That, that, that's really lazy, honestly. I, I'm, I'm not totally sure if I vibe that. Like, it's one thing to make a fight hard for the sake of being hard, but it's another thing entirely just to like piss you off by adding time in between the fights. Like that doesn't discourage me. It's not discouraging. That's the expression of someone who's died eight times in a row. That's the number of fingers on a spider. That's soon. Wait, those spiders have legs. But just putting a, a time gate in between a fight for the sake of a time gate, that's not good design. Okay, good. We survived that intro. Here we go! Noodles! They better try. Great. Okay. Oops. Good. This is Flappy Bird, by the way. Okay. You felt your sins crawling to your back. Oh, three crits and it didn't do anything. Why do you say the same dialogue line? What the hell? Just keep attacking. Okay. Good, we made it to the next phase. He dodged. Oh, okay, this one is annoying because we gotta like. That one's annoying because they come at different speeds. And I did notice that they weren't the same as the first time we encountered that either. Movement left and right. Yeah, but there's also the one that you have to stop moving to dodge. That's what I'm talking about. Jareth, stay determined. Okay, I'll do that. You can press a, go a button to go slower. Ah, uh, that's useless. That's useless to me. When using noodles or a pie, wait for the KR. I don't know what that means. He only says dialogue when you attack. He dodges. Yeah, I can see that. But only progresses when he says dialogues, and he only says dialogue if you attack him. Okay. So it's got nothing to do with the weapons that we have, right? It's, it's literally got nothing to do with it. Yeah, I'm ready. Whee! Uh, middle, top, middle, and top. Good. Here we go! Okay, I'm using the noodles. They're better dry, aren't they just? Whoops! Oh my god, I actually dodged that first one. I can't believe it. I can't believe I salvaged it. All right, good. You felt your sins crawling on your back. Let's go ahead, boom, 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 boom. And now, this one's tricky, isn't it? It's almost one of the pepperous fight. You felt your sins crawling on your back. That's lovely, I suppose. All right, you eat the legendary hero. Attack increases by four, which is, again, useless to us, is it not? Oh, that one's impossible. That one's not impossible, it's just hard to do. You gotta know some of these in advance. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Wonderful. A report showed a massive anomaly in the time-space continuum. Don't no worth jumping left to right, stopping and starting. What the hell is this? Oh, is... Oh my god, the one thing I'm... <clears throat> Platform, I... There's one thing I hate in video games. Two things I hate in video games. Number one is artificial time limits for no purpose other than to cancel a mission. The second one is platforming out of nowhere. Oh, that's awful. You mean to uh, how long the fight, uh, that corridor is minimal? Yeah, but I'd rather spend it for actually doing the fight. That's what's so annoying about it. Wait for the poison damage to be done when using pie or noodles. Wait, wait, can you actually outlast poison? Is that a thing? I will start counting deaths. He's known by now. Sans is the third scientist we were talking about last time. Oh, do we know this? Is that actually, uh, is that evidence? Is that cited anywhere? Because I think it's more likely that the Entry 17 is talking to uh, Toriel and Asgore. You know, it, it just makes sense for the Royal Scientist to report to the Royals, the people who pay him. Makes way more sense. When jumping over the small bones in that one attack, also slightly go in the direction that attack is going in. Yeah, but it's still... You saw what happened on the controller that I'm using when I was uh, fighting Undyne, right? The dead zone of the stick flicks back and it gives you incorrect inputs. 
So that just doesn't work. It, I could probably just learn how to use the keyboard, I suppose, but that'll take another, uh, I don't know, 20 hours. I've already been playing this game for 20 hours or so. No, he literally has a lab back of his house. What? Mm, he's got a workshop. He's got a workshop at the back of his house with a broken machine that people are speculating is a time machine. I've not seen any evidence that it is actually a time machine. Okay, good. But, like, people are saying that it's a time machine, and I'm not entirely sure, like, whether or not to believe him, because he does seem to have uh, information that transcends time. Especially in his dialogue right here. So, he could have been complicit in all of the kind of, like, heinous war crimes that were committed in the name of, uh, defending monsters. Why is my health still going down when I'm not getting hit? You take the piss. Here we go! Suck it up, no offense. Read the dialogue. What do you mean, suck it up? What you... Suck it up for what? The platforming? The platforming or the unrealistic, like, uh, yeah, extension of time that you have to do to kind of walk up to it? Read the dialogue? What do you mean? I have been. I've been reading the dialogue. AKA KR, AKA Karma, AKA Karmic Retribution. Right, okay, so your acronyms mean nothing to me, especially to somebody who hasn't actually played this before. If you go there after a pacifist, he'll have a drawing of you with the monsters on the surface that says, don't forget, platforming. Okay, yeah, okay, Astro Sands. What, Astro Sands, what is your least favorite kind of game? Because I just dipped my toe into this fandom. I didn't actually expect to be playing any of this, especially not platforming. Okay, let's not take a single hit. Nice, 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 nice. Well, that was easy. Hi there, Misha. Okay, let's go ahead and use some noodles now because they actually make a dent. Your HP was mixed out. Okay, good. Now, I'm not entirely sure what direction I'm supposed to be moving to get around those. I suppose I could be moving into the direction that they're going in, which only really extends the amount of time that I have for going upwards, but then I also risk the chance of the controller giving me an incorrect input of up, which extends the amount of time that I'm moving, so it guarantees that I take the hit. Once you learn the first attack, everything's going to be easier. Nothing much really. If the game is fun, I'd play it. I always struggle with that attack. Practice is key. Uh, I'm not the kind of guy that like practices video games. I'm really, really good at games when I start playing them, and then it, the skill level just kind of tapers off. Right at the top. I mean, it's, it's good enough to get me into uh, kind of like national rankings and stuff like that, so I don't really need to kind of practice most games. This is probably the first one I've ever actually had to like restart a boss more than two times. I always struggled with that attack and I had a good controller. I'm using Bluetooth. <laughs> I am literally using uh, the highest latency that there is for a computer. Man, screw this on like a console or something like that. Th this would be borderline impossible on like a PlayStation 4. Is this on console? It's gotta be, right? It's gotta be on console. Huh, that expression. That's the expression of someone who's died 11 times in a row. Well, give or take. There's nuance to this stuff. Don't think I'll be able to count very well from here. Count for me, okay? Let's start from 12. Oh, he just added a death to my account. What a guy. You're gonna need to practice this? Oh yeah, I can't wait. Hello there, Epic Flying Horse. How are we today? I saw your video this morning. It was uh, good. I wish you whiff every single speed glitch on Skate 3. It's on PC, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and PlayStation. Xbox and PlayStation will really struggle with this. Even I notice a latency between PlayStation 4 and games. I don't practice or watch tutorials either, just play everything blind. Did you beat this one? Did you beat Megalovania? Yeah, I watched. Oh, I, don't, I don't blame you, Matt. I beat him a lot on the Nintendo Switch and a port for Android. Okay. All right. Middle, top, middle, top. Good, and I'll wait for that poison to stick down. Excellent. Also, we need to play Devour at some stage. I forgot you gifted me that. Yeah, it's been on my, uh, my machine, ready to go for a long time, my dude. Oh, that's right, we're recording today, aren't we? Okay, I might have to cut the stream uh, quite short. In a very, very short moment. But... I'll, I'll give Sans a couple more fights first. I hope, I hope Epic Flying Horse in chat doesn't mind. Uh, let's go ahead and fight him. No, let's go ahead and use our noodles. They better try. Yep, got it. Uh, nope, got it. Yep, good. Up, oh, they speed up. That's good to know. Man, that poison really does a warping, doesn't it? 
That's crazy! I'm still to have Dennis, no stress. Ah, no worries, man. But I mean, I don't really practice games before playing hard things on them. I just play and see what comes out. 6.30 to 7-ish works for me. <sighs> I'll have to let you know. I might be going to the gym early. I think I might be good at about 7.30 if that's the case. Until Android port is just piracy. <laughs> Busted! Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fight Sans. All right, two crits wasted on this dickhead that just dodges everything. So this one is my kryptonite. I could just like, no, I can't dodge over any of them either. Just keep attacking. Okay, I'm gonna use another one of the legendary heroes. Good, we got 44 HP. Now we just have to dodge upwards, right? Uh, they do kind of actually meet in the middle, don't they? So we don't really have to dodge too far under. All right, good, just keep attacking. Boom, 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 boom. I'm not even gonna bother with the crits anymore. I'm just gonna mash the, the X. Even one or two videos with gameplay works. Okay, I'll let you know when I'm back from the gym. How does that sound? I'll go early and we can uh, we, we can start doing that. All right, this one's the tricky one. No, it's not. This is the platformer. Whee! Damn it! Oh, that is a rough end right there. That is so cheeky. Okay, I'll wait for that to stick down before I take another one of these legendary heroes. Attack increases. Very nice. Uh, more pla- Oh, piss off. Seriously? All right. All right. <laughs> we survived it though. Okay, let's use another one. I just want to see the move set at least. Go low and far. A gym at 30. Okay, maybe I'll go late. Oh my God, this guy. I can't move against the, the platforms. Seriously? Oh, that's rough. Okay, I'll eat another one of these. How many of these does he have before the attacks just start cycling? Oh, that's a rough one. Okay, good. Oh! I probably should have jumped over that one. You felt your sins crawling on your back. All right. I'm gonna use another one of these stakes. You had the face stake. That's all of our HP. Oh, seriously? Oh! That one's pretty easy. Gotta be said. That one's a really, really easy one. Okay, let's go ahead and fight him. Three crits wasted. Stay at the bottom. I'll show you stay at the bottom. Oh no! No, I've fallen in the bones! Oh, I've fallen in the bone soup and I'm panicking! Oh my god, I survived. Okay, good. Uh, we don't really have a lot. We didn't equip the real knife. Oh my god. Okay. Doesn't really matter if we attack, right? <laughs> That's your fault, isn't it? Is it? Damn it. That was an easy one, too. I bet the bones were going to change uh, the height, but that was going to be a really easy one. You felt sand scrolling on your back. Gross. The real knife is worse than a pan? How many times does it attack? Because if the attack damage doesn't matter, then we want the fewest amount of attacks as humanly possible, don't we? Try to like speed through to get to the next area faster. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use the real knife. Done, about time. Okay, so this should speed up the battle. No, I'm so sorry I'm this late human, I didn't mean it. That's okay, Papyrus, we're just killing Sans right here. I mean the attack with the three levels of bones going directions with the platforms. I overslept. The pan gives you extra healing, just better. I don't, I'm, I'm not too worried about the extra healing. Middle, top, middle, top. I'm not worried about the extra healing. We've got enough healing items to kind of like learn the fight at least. Here we go. Okay, I'll use the instant noodles. They're better dry. That gave us the same HP regeneration. What is everybody saying by the, the pan gives you extra HP? Okay, we've taken a lot of those hits. That's fine. We could probably last another battle. Oh, that's so much faster. Good God, yes. What? You think I'm just gonna stand there and take it? Okay, that is really difficult to get through. Maybe we just face tank it right at the start. You felt your sins crawling on your back. Okay, well, let's crawl a legendary hero into our gullet right here. Whoa! 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 It does, plus four HP per foot. That is literally a drop in the bucket. That makes no difference. I would rather have speed. Bro, it's gonna be here for a few hours. Okay, I'm attacking. Boom. If he's only got one HP, it doesn't matter. Don't mind jumping left and right, stopping and starting. That's fine. Oh, my favorite part of the game. Oh yes, I love platforming. Oh, genius. I wonder what, I wonder what cross Toby's mind put platforming in this. Okay, let's go again and eat another one of these legendary heroes. I just want to see the moveset. Okay, good. A piss. That's not good. Okay, we took lots of damage right there. 
Ah! Good. Excellent. You felt your sins crawling on your back. We're gonna need another one. Attack increases by four. I've been here since he beat Undyne. I'm happy to see him fight Sans. Nice. Nice. Long viewers. Oh. This one's okay, actually. This the, the platforming. I think I gave it a bit of a bad reputation. It's not that bad. It's probably the more lenient section of this fight. Until suddenly, everything ends. All right. So we don't want to take. Oh, piss. I should probably just use D-pad on this area here, right? Yep. D-pad's perfect right there. Good, I'm gonna use another one of these uh, stakes right here. Let's go ahead and recover some HP. Okay, it's kinda hard to dodge these. Whoa! Okay, good. You felt your sins crawling. You had the face stake. You recovered 60 HP, that's fine. I don't mind. Okay, took a little bit of damage. Damn it, I fell off the platform. Whoa! Good. Oh, damn it, we took a little bit on that as well. Whoops, you equipped the glasses. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and dodge all of these. Are these cycling through again? So now it rotates, right? There's about six or seven attack cycles. Okay. Oop. Missed. <laughs> That's your fault, isn't it? Is it? It doesn't really feel like my fault. I'll piss off. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that one is really difficult as well. Ooh, I hate the table one. The table one's okay. It's gonna be so fun seeing him beat Sands. I'm probably gonna have to dedicate an entire episode just to Sands, to be quite honest. I have actually run a little bit long over the amount of time I can spend streaming, so I do hate blue balls, everybody, but I gotta go. I gotta go. I really gotta go. I wanna thank everybody for sticking through me with this. I know we almost beat the game in one sitting in six and a half hours, but Sans is no joke. I'm going to put towards an entire episode towards him. I think that's going to be the best idea. I remember teardrop in the chat? Now I understand it's harder on a controller. Oh, hell yes, it's harder on a controller, especially a controller that's not wired in or anything like that. And I've already, sh I showed everyone during the Undyne fight, when you flick the stick on a DualSense controller, there's no dead zone on the controller itself. So when you flick the stick in one direction and then you let go of the stick, then it bumps the dead zone of the other direction. So when you put in this direction, it actually strikes that way. So really, really hard to kind of like use a controller. You say goodbye spray paints to me? Well, I suppose I can. Goodbye spray paints. I've been them like 20 times. Super technical fight. Super difficult. When's next stream? That is tomorrow. It's going to be tomorrow. Uh, around about 11 a.m. New Zealand time. If I'm late, that's absolutely fine. You'll get a notification. If everybody sticks the bell on the subscribe on my YouTube, you get a notification. I put in the YouTube community as soon as I'm about to go live, about an hour in advance, and you'll see it. You'll definitely see it. Not sure if I'll see the next stream, but it's been fun. Everything's getting recorded anyway. Everything's going to be uploaded in delicious 1080p. Sans is like one third of the gameplay for a first run. That doesn't surprise me, honestly. I, like, I can see just how hard he actually is. I bet he's got like, maybe like three or four kind of phases. W would I be right in assuming that? I think I'd be right in assuming that, wouldn't I? That he's got about three or four phases. So, I'm not too surprised. I definitely saw his entire attacks cycle over once, so that was quite nice. He has two phases. Oh, perfect. Oh, we're going to get him real fast then. <laughs> like I say, we're going to get him real fast. His first attack, if I did see all of his attack phases, they're not actually that bad. We can definitely learn those. Just two. Okay, perfect. Perfect. We'll get him tomorrow then. We'll definitely get him down tomorrow. I will bet my head against a brick wall. So, thank you everybody so much for joining me. I have been against and you've been watching my YouTube. Right up here, you're gonna find the playlist for Undertale that I have made. Right up here, you're gonna find another playlist that I think you really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you are going to find yourself a link to my Discord. You can talk to me and my community, even recommend games or help theory craft. And, whoops. And until I make the next- Wait, did everybody actually hear that? Ah, oh, penis! I'm gonna do it again anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're gonna find the playlist for Undertale that I have made. And right up here, you're gonna find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord where you can recommend me games or even come and theorycraft with me. And until I make the next episode or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. And goodbye!